You all are part of a guild. I asked you to pick a guild name. There is not a good consensus. So you're the Glass Cannon Guild. Yeah, because glass that's cannons. the first There's one no that popped up. Anyone would ever join the Glass Cannon Guild. <laughs> <laughs> but you we all did. You're all in the Glass Cannon Guild. We know what we are. Thank okay. you, Josh, for your submission. I, I submit. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> You've been tasked by your guild leaders to meet with the Red Wizards of Riften. They oh, have requested a meeting in Riften, and that'll be in the Dockside districts. Just Wizards so don't know. like us, I don't think. Well, that's very true. In fact, in this city, wizards and sorcerers have been competing for a very long time in everything because you guys have very different views of magic where wizards think you need to study and understand what the magic is sorcerers believe it's just innate it is for them it comes from mm -hmm. their lines or their gods in the highland we're like case. the racists we believe in the purity of blood and Ooh, like, no this is that's cool. where this magic comes from you guys don't deserve it you're stealing it when you from a book. Oh, I was thinking Learning of someone who like, plays person. technical like guitar versus a folk singer. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe that's your version. <laughs> yeah, mine's very slithering. Is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very slithering. You went dark I'm quickly. Pure, I'm a pure blood man. <laughs> right, fucking blood bloods. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you've all been summoned to meet with one of the leaders of the Red Wizards of Riften. His name is Samuel. They told you that they had a contract, and the contract's going to be um, gifted to the Wizards Guild. Or to the Sorcerers Guild, the Glass Cannons, instead of the Wizards. And they've come to an agreement of some sorts. They didn't tell you what your task is yet. So that's for you to find out today. All right. You can, um, everyone bought starting equipment, right? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I got starting equipment. Uh, I think so. Let me look. Oh, clothes. Yeah. I've got, oh, hey, can I have some spells stored in my ring of spell storing? Is that the item you picked? I got the ring of spell storing and the slippers of spider climbing. Um, it, when you get it, it comes with a certain amount of spells stored in it, right? Uh, let's take a look. Go ahead and click the link on it and put it in the chat so yeah, I can see it. It says, I have 1d6 minus 1 levels of spell stores chosen by the GM. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you got none. Fuck. You have negative 1 spell levels. You have 5 Sweet. levels of spells Oh, 1d6 minus 1? Alright, well, let's, yeah. let's go ahead and do that. Ready, set, well, go. I'm get screwed. <laughs> what you're saying is, I can't... Yeah. Really, you're saying I can't... You I can't, can't, can't use your blue item. item. That's fucked, man. Come on. Let me have put some of my own spells in there. I'm level 8 and shit. I didn't just get it just now. Oh, that was too funny. Um, I'll give you... You can do how many levels of spells? Five? Uh, no, I think I can only go up to... Store up to five levels worth of spells. Yeah, I can store up to five levels, but I can't cast fifth level well, spells. Well, because we're on a one-shot, I'm going to pick them. I'll give you five spells levels, though. Here, okay. let's take a, take a quick peek. See, this is why I told you to tell me if you get any weird items. Instead, you this just bring weird. it this on is, me. This is the standard item. We've had it before in games. Yeah, but we're on a one-shot. It's not like you're gonna have multiple so days you didn't lose my shit so now you're gonna punish me okay all right, you didn't tell me your shit <laughs> if my character was out there for everybody to see what what element did you pick necrotic necrotic i love D, &D drama right <laughs> D and D. is there um black tentacles level four spell Ooh, i think that's avard's black tentacles yep yeah that's the one so I have a, that and some one other level one thing. Oh, Something that, oh yeah, one more thing. Myself. Level one. 
Dissonant whispers. Okay. Everard's black tentacles. Everard's whatever shit and dissonant whispers. And if you get more than one day in this one shot, mm-hmm. then you can re-switch them. <laughs> Thanks for that. You got it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Spell Those aren't horrible. You. What is Everard's... Oh, you thought I was going to fuck you? Yeah. I was, oh, like, on. bending over and getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> think we lost Brian. Brian? I'm here. The okay. girls are downstairs because they're looking for puppets. Gotcha. So I, I had to mute myself. Oh, cool. for sure. So uh, were you asking something? Nope, I just didn't want to continue with the story until you're okay, back. It's black tentacles. No, oh, that's kind of nice. Just, you just missed Ryan and Josh having a bit of a romance. Mm. A no-pants romance. I got pants on. It's a normal Sunday morning bullshit. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, it's 8 o'clock. Let's, let's, uh, you got your spells? Uh, yeah, I got my spells. Yeah, I got Everett's Black Tentacles and Ryan Away and shit. Okay. You all are, um, requesting or requested to meet with Samuel today. This is always the hardest part is getting the campaign started. Mm-hmm. The meeting's at noon, high noon, mm. at Samuel's estate. Samuel's estate. Does anyone want to be the um, leader of this fine crew? I am the leader. Who's Alex? Alex? Not it. Well, let's someone com- wanted it, so let's compete. Jolly is now the leader. I'm yes. good, Jolly. You're the man. Like, you're obviously someone's son who might be important. I don't know. So, whatever. He's strong, so he could push any of you around. That's good. He reminds me of a dragon turtle. Yes. Right. So, win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm content to follow. Very well. What time is it now? It's what time is it now? now? It is. Well, it's almost high noon. Oh, very well. You're going to have to move there quick. It's time we head over to the dock side. We need to oh, sure. Get to Samuel's estate. Right. You should procure us some sort of wagon. Or a palanquin. Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. How do I do that? I'm sure you can figure it out. Any of the peasants manage this. Oh, really? All of the peasants here know how to get a what was get it called? a wagon, wave down a taxi. Yeah, pretty much anyone can figure that out. Okay, all right. I go out in the street. I look for <laughs> I look for a wagon and I wave my arms. <laughs> all right, it's not going to be difficult for you to find a wagon. Okay, you could have made that really fun, but all right, I find a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I got plans, man. I got plans. All right, you got to get us places. I got you. I'm actually trying to fix one thing while we're talking, so I'm letting you okay, go. Okay, so I waved down a wagon guy. I'm like, hi, we need a ride to the dockside to Samuel's house. Yep. Okay, let's right, go, cool. guys. I got it all fixed up. Okay. All right, yeah, you all pile into a wagon and you head over to the dockside districts. There's one large bridge that um, connects between the unnamed green district and the docksides. Okay. And there's a lot of different smaller bridges that are used for uh, walking, but not for carts. And you take your wagon over this bridge into the docksides where... Can I, can I ride the outside of the wagon? You could do whatever you want. I get up on the buckboard with the driver. Sure. You get on the buckboard with the driver. He um, sends his wife to the back with everyone else. Nice. I'm like, the sky is so big. (laughs) I got things to do, man. (laughs) Sorry, man. (laughs) You'll get you'll get your chance, okay? Sure. Right. No talking. I got it. No talking. You can talk all you want. (laughs) Wait, do you have the sunlight sensitivity? No, because yeah, I have to draw. Okay. I know the that, kobold that in the car does. Yeah, the yeah. I don't have it, but I'm probably squinting a lot. Fizzle. And Eleuth- Eleutheris? Eleutheris? Eleutheris. I figure you can call me Al if that's hard. 
Al, Ari, Fizz. Okay. Okay. And yeah, you get to Samuel's estate. It is a pretty nice house, one story. Looks um like it's on the better block of this side, and the dock sides aren't that fancy. But there's a lot of activity out in the uh, river area. People are always working here. You see those um, old-fashioned cranes hoisting things off of smaller boats. Looks mm -hmm. like they're unloading a bunch of stuff. And he lives almost near the main river. So he's about a block away from the main river. So more expensive area. <clears throat> near a lot of the brothels and bars alike. When you get to Samuel's estate, you can, um, yeah, introduce yourselves as you uh, approach the building, knock on the door, and you're met by the butler. I just follow the turtle. He knows what he's doing. Let me, yep. uh... I wave Aridurn forward to knock on the door. Give him the nod. <laughs> I look at you standingly, <laughs> and I'll knock on the door. Did you call him Eridorn? Eridan. Eridan. Uh, to Dan. <laughs> you not knock Dan. on the Eridorn. door and a butler greets you. How may I help you? That was to you, Eridan. Uh, just let us in. And uh, who is calling on the master? From the glass cannon, sir. <laughs> I see. Right this way. And he ushers you into the building. Let's just uh, show you the building. Nice. Love a good building. Oh, yeah, I, I put a lot of work into this, guys. Trust me. Where do we come in? Like, is this the door over here? Ooh, little pings. That looks like a... F that's a fireplace. Fireplace? Nice. Not the door. I would say so this that door. this is like a double door and this is a double door. Oh, uh, over here. That's a wall, Alex. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why we're asking. Because <laughs> you put so much work into so this. These ones? I don't know. I, I looked at this map once. They're right here. These are the doors. <laughs> okay. Stop at the white ones. <laughs> <laughs> Was it this the door? This one right here? Come up through the ground. The carpet? Yeah. All right. So we come in here. I'm assuming he's sitting on one of the thrones. What throne? Oh, yeah, is that what I that guess is? those are kind of thrones. <laughs> no yeah. one's sitting in the thrones. This yeah, looks like it's a sit. meeting hall, but the butler ushers you in through the next door over here. Okay. And then he'll... Uh, Usher you up the stairs to the raised platform, which is a dining area. And this right is where you're going to meet Samuel. Is he already there? He's already here. Oh, who's that? It's Samuel. 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 Black tentacles. Oh, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I know you! <laughs> Everest Black Tentacles. Actually, um, Jolly, you do know Samuel. Oh, nice. That's part of your um, <clears throat> background. My background? I know him. He may or may not know me. <laughs> you know of him. Why? But he uh, ushers everyone to the four chairs. Come on in and have a seat. I can't put a trinket down. Um, a trinket? A little me. A little token. Oh, you want your tokens? You're not going to be here that long. It's just a talk. This oh, is okay. just for funsies. All right. Come on in and have a seat. He's in a wheelchair <laughs> sitting down. <clears throat> Here, let's make him facing you guys. Professor X. Nice. All right, All right. Now he's facing you guys. I take the top left chair because it's where I can see the exits and this statue. Okay. I'll sit over here. I'll be Next here. Next to my friend, the turtle. You all shuffle in. You sit down on these very comfortable leather chairs. I know you didn't want to be here, and I don't want you here either. But well, then should we leave? It's not my job to question what the king wants. We've 
made a new deal, we have a contract, and we have to subcontract it out to you. <clears throat> it's unfortunate, but it's just a wild goose chase anyways. We've hmm. earned the rights of exploration in the Emerald Caverns. It's going to be a four-month-long contract, and you guys are there to find the source of power. The source of power behind Riften, behind Riften's uniqueness that makes it much more magical than the rest of the world. Do you have any questions so far? I raise my hand. You. What's your name? Uh, Balutheris, sir. What? What was that? My friends call me Al. Al. Much better. Go ahead. What's what's a goose? The hell kind of a question is that? I mean, you asked if anybody had any questions. I have a question. What what is what's a goose? I lean over to the turtle and kind of stage whisper. What's a ghost? All right, no I more talking from you. Head and... <laughs> <laughs> in the emerald caves deep in the center of the Kasara Desert. This is where we believe the source of power comes from. Now, these caves, they used to call them the Caves of the Lost. People that go in there, sometimes they don't come back. But we want you to go find this source of power, figure out what it is, identify it. If you can, bring it back. If it's an item, we will... Identify it, restore it, and properly allocate it to the party if it's not de if it's not deemed necessary to the realm. Your guild, the Glass Cannons, you are the political bridge between the Red Wizards of Riften and the Glass Cannon Sorcerers Guild. You'll finally bring a union to two guilds of great renown. After decades of competition. I'm doing all the talking. Anyone else want to chime in? No, I, I see. Look. I just look at him. I look at the turtle to see what we're doing, but I look at him too. I, they've sent me the best and the brightest. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you can't handle that you take care of for you? Oh, don't get me wrong. We would much rather do this ourselves. They aren't allowing us. This is not our choice. Oh, I thought we were the expendable cannon fodder that you sent in to see if we came back. I would rather send people that I can trust. But I have you instead. Yeah, I, I can tell just by looking at you that you're entirely able to manage this on your own. Not me, but I have a I few away. compatriots that can do it. Although, they are asking, if you want any extra help, you can go talk to these three other wizards. They have maybe more they can help you with. Maybe even procure some items for you. Oh, I'm nodding my head. They're probably a little nicer than me and easier to get along with. Probably better at walking, too. Can you point sure. us in their direction? Shit. <laughs> wow. There's three of them. The first one's name is Warwick. You can find him in the Downs District. The second Warwick. one name is Sarah. You can find her here near the Dockside Districts. The, th the third one's named David, and you can find him as well in the Dockside Districts. I can have someone give you a map. You can get there. You don't think that in the exceeding intelligence and planning of the Red Wizards of Riften that you would have thought to bring them here beforehand. So oh, they lead very busy lives, so you need to chase them around. This is part of the quest. This is where things are hard on purpose. That's what I say. <laughs> I thought I told you you shouldn't talk anymore. Right, sorry. It's your bullshit. All right, let's get out of here. I feel dirty. Perfect. Have a great day. Grab the maps. Dan. Dan? Who's Dan? Aradan. 
Oh, that's you, Matt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you, um... I, look, I give you another look of disdain, and I pick up the maps. I can tell you're getting along very well already. <laughs> does, does everyone kind of got an idea of what your quest is? Hunt down three red wizards. <laughs> so, what are you guys? Uh, let's games? let's do a quick Flat recap outs. of the the quest. You will have to go to the Emerald Caves and In locate the, the source of power. The I know about caves. Caves aren't super great. We might want to stay out here. Can we not do this? I no, we have to do this. Best. We have to do this. Okay. Because I've prepared all the material for this and only this. <laughs> Let's not go. So if we just go shopping. <laughs> if you just go shopping, I will leave and come back in a few hours. <laughs> all right. So they give you a map and it has Warwick, it has Sarah, and it has David. Who would you want to go visit first? There's two that are in the dockside districts near you. That would be Sarah and David. Let's go visit one of them. Would make sense to put Warwick to the end. All right, where are you going? Should we start with David to make it alphabetical? Sure. God, man, sunlight. So weird, huh? I'm talking to Kobold. Isn't sunlight strange? I have an intelligence of eight. I'll just be like... See David first. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I'm like, isn't sunlight weird? Yeah, is alphabetical. Do you even it's know alphabetical hard. with an intelligence of eight? Probably not. <laughs> You're probably like, let's go alphabetically and go to Sarah's first. Yeah, he counts to three and that's it. Everything over three is still three. All right, to David's. Okay. So you get out, your cart's still waiting for you because you correctly paid them to wait and I didn't pay him sure someone paid him that's the boss's job it was the uh, procurement of the guild they gave you some funds nice yeah um do you guys have gold uh I have like 10 or something stupid it's some little amount okay four and a half thirds of gold that I I did buy four flasks of oil okay I have a crowbar Nice. The thieves tools. Gold. Teen gold. Oh, I have a I have a dungeoneer's pack. So it's got like pitons, uh, rope. It's got a crowbar. I think they're pythons. Pythons? Sure. I think that's how you pronounce it. I also have a loot that I can play. I okay. Do a mean bard impersonation. Yeah. Do you have performance? Well, you probably do uh, if your charisma's jacked. Let me see. Yeah, I do. I've got performance, persuasion, uh, deception. So uh, your first task is to meet these three red wizards and convince them to help you as much as you can. Who's two first? David's or Sarah's? Going to David's. David's. Maybe we should split up, guys. Or you can split up. David's first. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. I'll strum right. the loot on the buckboard while we drive. Everyone piles into the cart and you make your way. Well, what's your name again? Al. I'm just going to call you Al because I can't read that. That's fine. Ba -da -da -da. I'm playing the guitar. Ooh. On the buckboard? Yeah, I do a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> it's, hor it's really horrible. What's I have a roll? plus eight and I got a nine. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah, as a natural one. Fix my Bing! There goes a string. I'm like, oh man. You um, cannot play a broken. Is it a loot? Yeah. Give me it. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix it. Oh, thanks. Do you just throw it over the side? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> I jump down. <laughs> like the wagon wheel. Wow. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> You might want to get back on the wagon. <laughs> oh. It's starting to continue rolling on without you. I run. He runs back and catches up and grabs on. Give me a strength check to pull yourself back up on the wagon. Nope. 
I'll try. Wow. Okay, not too bad. You pull yourself Ten back million. up, minus one loot. That was the quickest loot in history. <laughs> I am so not cool with what you just did. A single botch. I was really happy listening to you before that. Now, not so much. <laughs> you just lost yourself a loyal follower, bro. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll have a better one after we talk to David. I'm like, now I understand. <laughs> the wagon clatters right. along the cobblestone road down these... Um, condensed and packed streets looks like today is um one of the shipping days so everything is getting unpacked and unloaded into all the different businesses but it's not too far of a journey to make it to david's house which is more of like um well it's not quite a house i'll show you what it is what what the deuce this, he lives in this weird little spot. He lives on a shrine. He lives in I, the shrine. Is there an inn? It looks like stairs that lead up to a weird blue glowy thing. Yeah, there's yeah, a there's weird a big, blue glowy thing. It's a blueberry. And he lives is in it the teleportation of some sort. Oh, that, oh that is why don't you go investigate? Racist. I mean, I walk up to the blueberry. All right, everyone gets out of the cart, walks up the path to the big blue magical orb. It is um, ah. just a spell effect. It's not actually material. I don't have Arcana, so I, I walk up to Does it. Does anyone like, have Arcana? Looks interesting. I I'll, have Arcana. I'll roll it. Wow. Oh, man, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Again, the kobold, he's saying things that he doesn't understand, but <laughs> he was correct this time somehow. This is some kind of teleportation mechanism, and huh. all you have to do is walk into it. I do. Everyone walks into it. Oh, I have to reveal it on my side. Here we go. Who's doing a bunch of tapping or something? I think that's Brian. Is that me? Uh, just your headset, probably. Oh. Yeah, it is getting pretty old and creaky. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, every time I smile or move my head, it's like, creak, creak, creaky. Oh, okay. It sounds like my old chair. <laughs> so, yeah. Here, I just want to experiment with this to see if it works, so... I've never done isometric maps. You hmm. teleport into... Don't right there. There we go. This room. Oh, that was terrible for Fog yeah, of War. Yeah, I can't see. The Fog of <laughs> War is bad. Let's try, try it again. again. Into what room? Into here. The yeah. hallway. Into the okay. hallway. You can see through this door, there's an archway over here. There's some stairs leading downwards. I immediately peek over here. Oh, yeah, of course you do. You immediately what peek this over guy's here. Name? This is David's house. David, David, and David, are you home? You see this um, weird contraption over here. I'll ping it out for you. Whoa, check this out. I walk into the room. And there's actually a person inside this large human-sized glass case. They don't look like they're alive. They look Wait, like where? they're kind of suspended in a glass case. There's a glass case over here, and there's a person in it? Yep. Whoa. Is this David? This is not I David. I hope not. <laughs> is it a, where is, is it a David? Or... We need to find David. You want to investigate more? Yeah. What do you want to know? Oh, thanks, honey. I want to know what's the person look like. Um, yeah, sure. It's just a average male man, completely naked, and nothing too descript about them. Black hair, looks like um, a little bit of a beard. That's about it. Nothing okay. special. I come over to this 
Stonehenge looking doorway thing. Mm -hmm. I ignore the glass fleshy human. It has arcane symbols written up and down um, each side of the four cornered pillar. The top roll beam. Arcana. Sure, you can roll arcana. And um, I believe the kobold might also. Do you have draconic? Uh, common draconic goblin. And if anyone else has Dracana, you can actually read a lot of the runes that are carved up and down. And it's all just um, different descriptions of magic. I have Infernal and Undercom. This describes magic. Describes a lot of Riften's history with magic, a lot of the uniqueness of the city itself, and why they theorize magic is more powerful. They don't believe that it's going to be a magic item that you're going to find. And you can kind of get that from the gist of this writing. Okay. I'll explain that to the group. Oh. Fizz. But where is David? Can you break I, the glass? I bet I that human brings it to you David. grab it to us <laughs> with your aid of intelligence. Your aid <laughs> uh, should I roll it? What are you or trying to do? Like, be stupid when you'd explain it. Uh, what would I roll to explain the information to them? Oh, you can explain to them. Go ahead and explain it. Uh, it says it doesn't think it magic item that causes Riften to be more powerful. They think it is something else. What? It doesn't say See exactly if you can what. revive glass. Fizz. You cannot revive can you wake him up? glass. Oh, a wake him up? Is this David? We can ask him where David is. Why not ask David where David is? You need to find David first to ask him. Okay, I go running down to the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go to hide by himself. <laughs> okay, you go running down the stairs. And... It's just another hallway. There's another staircase leading down, or you can go up into the back part of this area. Look left, look right. David! I'm down here. I'll look back at him and go, he's over here. And I'll go the direction that the uh, voice said that he's there. Which is to your right when you go through the doorway. Go down the stairs again. Down the stairs, and when you come to the end of the stairwell, there's actually um, a drop-off. You'll have to take a ladder down to the next level. But down below, you'll see a pool of water. Looks like it is um, fed by a fountain on the right-hand side of the room. And there's another um, singular pool to the left. I'll reveal that for you. There you go. Cool. And David's mm, down there. Goblin ping here. I speak goblin. So yeah, you can climb down the ladder, but you, my sir, will have to give me a strength check. David Bowie. Of course. Uh, let's see here. If there's a ladder? There's a ladder. Right there. See it. And did you Boo! I got a four total. That's a staircase. Six, and then six through minus two. <laughs> oh, it's a ladder. That's my interpretation. It's a ladder now. You don't see that as a staircase? <laughs> like and that. a door? <laughs> and a, a door well, bottom. that's not how I saw it. But it is now. We're moving into the theater of the mind. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure out how to delete that as it no longer matters. <laughs> Sit, I'm choking over here. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that I now thought there was 
steps, and it came to a wall with a ladder on it. Okay, I gotcha. <coughs> <coughs> that would have been quirky. All right, yeah, very quirky. All right, I'm sorry, I was choking over here. <laughs> Not done. Mm. <coughs> Okay, Not much done. better. Not done choking? Yeah, I wasn't done choking. Alright. So yeah, you go down the stairs through the door. And you don't have to roll a athletics check there, Fizzle. Because you would have failed good. anyways. <laughs> I failed open the door. <laughs> come on, come That's on. That's awesome. There isn't a door. It's just a doorway. <laughs> All you have to do is walk through it. Correct. I'm bad at this. Fizzle runs through. You're the first one through the doorway, and you are there to meet David, the Red Wizard. You are the renowned wizards of, or the renowned sorcerers of the Glass Cannon Guild. What is your name, That's little one? I am Fizzle. Fizzle, it is good to meet you. I am David. I know that you've been sent here for guidance. What can I do for you? Do you need information? Do you need items? What is it? Tell me what you uh, need. I wait for leader. Leader decide. All right. We wait then. <laughs> I'll walk down there. I turtle my way slowly down. Yeah, you're like last, always. Slow and steady. Mm -hmm. Whenever you walk, I, I picture those guys from the fifth element that are made of metal. Junk, junk, junk. Yeah, They're just like yeah. slow. I can see that. Like, uh, life and death. Or time is not important. Only life important. Yeah, right. So everyone shuffles their way into the room, and he was um, just kicking it in the water. He has his feet dangling in, and he seems very relaxed in his weird-ass home of weird things. Yeah, you have a lot of space, but no decorations furniture yeah no furniture that you've seen so far mm. and are you the leader he says to the next person that walks in which would be that's al me uh no that's not me oh come in have a swim have a seat i don't do swimming too much but i'll sit next to you i, I go Turtle down man as leader put my feet in what's your name again brian Jolly. Jolly. Oh, Jolly. Jolly is... That's so hilarious, because you're so not. <laughs> yeah, Jolly's on his way. He's slow. All right, you so, all walk in. Is he wearing red? <laughs> he is wearing red. Um, The other one, Samuel, was not. So what's with the red before the wizard? Why red wizards? Why not? Red wizard's Two. stronger than other wizards. Is that how it works? Sure. It's centuries old tradition. We've been wearing red for a long, long time. And we continue to do so, regardless of the bad name that we've had across the lands before. You have a bad name? How come? Well, we don't anymore. We're trying to reconcile Because they're wizards, that. I say as I enter the room. What's wrong with wizards? There's nothing there's like wrong less with clear versions of us, Just right? Just like there's nothing wrong with sorcerers. You are very not here inquisitive. To your methods. Oh, you're here for help, and I'm here to help you. What can I do for you? Again, I ask. Why did Samuel point you out as a potential resource? What is your expertise? My expertise is procuring things. I can get you equipment if you need it, items. We'll need Magic a caravan or mundane items to the Kassara Desert, to the Emerald Caves. We'll need to be equipped with maps, compass, rations, bedding material. Um, we'll need hired hands. Um, yes, she yes. Show us the way to carry things for us. <clears throat> I thought that was Dan's job. Who's Dan? Walk into the door. It, it is now David's job. <laughs> oh, security stuff for us? I thought Dan was the carrier. I pointed it. Yes, yes. All those things will be accommodated. We can do that for you. 
you have magic trinkets? I might have magic trinkets. Sweet. I always wanted a floating brick. A floating brick, you say? I mean, I'm sure there's more useful I don't know if that would things. actually help you in this quest. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think they're useful. That's why they're trinkets. Have you been to the caves? Have I been to the? I have not personally been to the caves. Do you have any experience with them? Would you know what will be useful? Well, everything you just mentioned will be useful. You might need some, uh, did you say lanterns, lights, torches? I don't think we need light. We're not going to turn them down, though. Oh, really? I don't. I would prefer not to have light, personally. As long not daylight. Daylight, too bright. We'll be in a cave. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. I mean. Well, it's up to you. <sighs> Sounds like home. Yes, yes. Um, we'll need some sort of magical escape should we need to. I've heard this place has a reputation for those who go inside do not necessarily return. If we're going to provide you and your guild with any valuable information and or resources and or a source of power, we will need to have some way out of there if things get difficult. He stands up. Well, I might be able to do this for you. I have things that I can provide you, but they're not going to be all for free. Is there any services besides the uh, contracted services you are to do for us that I can request of you? Uh, uh, is there a reason request? I should give you more than what's needed? I raise my hand. I know the answer to this. Yes, speak freely. Yeah, so I think that you're sending us to this uh, to the Emerald Caves to find a thing, if there's a thing to be found, and then we bring it back, and that's when you take it from us. I think that's how it works. So if you want us to bring the thing back for you to take, did you even things. read the contract? Here, uh, let me pull it out. He pulls okay. out a sheet of paper from his pockets. In the contract, it says, Once everything is accounted for, identified, and restored, if it isn't needed by the realm, it's to be allocated by the people that went there. So who decides if it's needed by the realm? Because those are probably the guys that take it. I think that's how this usually works. Well, that would Where be the key. Anyways. Oh, I thought it was you. The Red no, Wizards. the king has um, requisitioned our union. Oh, okay. I know there's been See, a I lot of mistrust between all of us. Well, it doesn't need to stay that to do way. It. So because he said he didn't want us to do it, I thought that there was at some point where you guys were going to exploit the fact that we were going. Well, Sorry. Samuel is a crotchety old bastard. Oh, yeah, that seems true. Correct. Much like my friend here, I point at the turtle. They seem to have some similarities. Like two peas in a pod. I could procure an item that can get one of you out, if things were to go sour. Oh, I know how this goes. Then we would just need three more of those. I only could get <laughs> one. Fizzle, that's not how it works. See, the... See, uh, Jolly takes it, and then when we're there and we get the thing, Jolly leaves without us. That's how that happens. I know how this works when you have a master and servants. <laughs> we won't be paying for any extra devices that will split up our group. Well, we're not always just looking for gold. We could use um, your services for other matters after this. A down payment of sorts. Buy now, pay later. Sounds good to me. After this, I would prefer you to be in my debt than I to be in yours. Very well, then. I will make sure that you get everything you need for your journey and one of those magical orbs that will transport one of you back here immediately. Wait, so we are getting the magic orb or we're not? You are. Oh, okay. 
in the event things go poorly, whoever has the source of power will take this orb and return to fulfill the contract. So I think what you're saying is when we find the source of power, you want us to give it to you. Potentially. Right. <laughs> I nod my head. Aha. <laughs> I'm from the Underdark, man. I know what's up. <laughs> In Undercommon, <laughs> I say, tap the brakes on the betrayal of nonsense. <laughs> oh, you know, Undercommon, this is great. <laughs> I say back. <laughs> so he'll have. Uh... Is anyone adept at swimming here? Nope. No. I point at the turtle. Which... <laughs> Do you I have a swim speed? The water. <laughs> I push him into the water. <laughs> Seriously? You push me in. I start yeah. climbing out. I said, no, I said swimming's not a thing. I don't do that. Um, how big is the, the tunnel between the two rooms? You'd have to hold your breath for at least um, a minute. Oh, yeah. I can hold my breath for an hour. Right? Oh, wow. Really? I, I, I wasn't have, wrong, I guys. I don't have a swim speed, but I have a, a exceptional. It's, I believe it's called partially am, amphibious. amphibious. Oh, cool. Like that. Features and traits. Uh, I believe the length of time you can hold your breath is based on your con mod. No, he's a turtle, though. Yeah. No, I so mean he, for me though. For you, yes. Yeah, for us, yeah. That's why you're okay, not going. So. Plus, you don't swim. Hmm. No, <laughs> only one person needs to go. Okay. Yeah. So, so he'll I have you follow him. Like, Dan, I'm all wet. Can you blow me? <laughs> Get in the water. <laughs> what the hell did you just say? <laughs> I look at Dan. I'm like, Dan, blow me, man. I'm all wet. Easy. <laughs> Oh, I uh, cast Gust on you. Thanks. So he'll come down. <laughs> That's what I'm looking down, for. <laughs> down. And through the door there. And you'll follow him. Mm -hmm. He, um... Oh, I didn't reveal all the map. This is just for fun. No reason to actually have a map. Just funsies. He will lead you through the door down here. And then up and over here, there's a connection bridge that you can't see on the map. You get there somehow, and you'll pop out here. This one? The pipe. They gotta go through the pipe. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, I, I looked at pipe. this map once as well. <laughs> they go through the pipe. You have to crawl through. It's a little tight for you. but That's why I asked about the, the size of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> but you make it through. And he walks up the steps of this weird small ziggurat. And um, the orb shrinks down to the size of a, a large jawbreaker. He holds it in his palm and he reaches out to you. You may take this. It'll bring you right back here. How do I activate it? Just say the magic word. <laughs> It's going to be good. I don't have a I magic just, word. I just look at him until he <laughs> tells me what it is. <laughs> Abracadabra, of course. Abracadabra. Jesus Christ, I hate wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra, of course. <laughs> and you'll all <laughs> reconvene <laughs> with a, a magic orb. And all the gear to get to the Kassara, or through the Kassara Desert and to the Emerald Caves. Perfect. This is totally going to take more than one session. God, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go quicker now. We'll go quicker. Yeah. No, it's do, fine, man. Do it's we okay even too. need to talk to Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> we just got everything we need. He yeah, but maybe we can so. get extra things that we don't need. Those are always cool. We'll go speak to two more wizards. <laughs> <laughs> How you... far is Sarah's? Oh, her house is right next door. Well, her establishment, her working place. Oh, nice. You don't have any hey, of these secret magic. Why do you tunnels? have a glass man upstairs? Oh, Fred. Well, he wanted to be saved for later. We'll we'll uh... we'll get him out of there eventually. 
like saving him for later. Are you going to eat him? No, I, no, I did. no, no. Oh, I'm not sure. He wanted sure to we prolong his either. life. Oh. So. And that's how you do it? Well, that's one way. There's many ways to prolong your life. How it long do you almost live? always requires magic. How long do I live? Well, I'll yeah. live forever. Oh, nice. But you don't have to be in glass. Me? No, I don't have to be in glass. Okay. He's held but by Fred. the uh, constraints of mortality. Mm. He will prolong okay. his life through a different age. Weird. Okay. Well, you all have a safe journey. I hope that you figure out this commotion with this magic and whatnot. Thanks for your help. Yes. And the orb of inevitable betrayal. <laughs> I'd walk this way. <laughs> I'll follow him out. <laughs> Yep, you all head out the doors, back up through the teleportation, and on to Sarah's, who's not very far away. Let me move you over there. Bring our wagon over. Yeah, you can bring your wagon over. You don't have to. What is happening? There are so many people. That look identical. I can't quite make out who that's supposed to be. I need to zoom. Well, then zoom in. So you is all that... head over to a. <laughs> who is it? It's a. Uh, uh, I'm having a Sunday morning brain cramp. Oh, that's uh, what's his face? Yeah, Michael Keaton. Yep. Yeah. It's fucking Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, this has just turned real bad, guys. We shouldn't be here. <laughs> How many Batmans can you fight at once? <laughs> How many what? Batmans does it take to change a light bulb? And you all make it to an establishment called the Guidepost. This lavish and beautiful building sits on a set of balanced pillars 20 feet high. The patio underneath is for customers waiting to be taken into the shadows of mystery above. Here, a patron might get their fortune read, speak to the spirits of lost loved ones, or they might find themselves enthralled in a journey of enlightenment. This is also where Sarah works. As soon as you step past the threshold onto the stones, you are transformed into the same person that everyone else looks like. Whoa. So we all look like Batman. So you all look like Michael Keaton in multiplicity. Huh. I, uh, I poke the turtle. It's still him. <laughs> so it's just an illusion. It's just an illusion. Okay. Wow, strange. But yeah, you can take your place at a seat and wait to be called upon. Or you can go up the stairs, I guess, if you want to just barge in. So how do illusions work? Quick question. If I poke the turtle and I know it's him and I can feel his shell and stuff do i see through the illusion after that so then you would so see like a faint outline as if you're looking at like a a ghostly spirit of the illusion okay uh, or maybe cool. you'd see so, a ghostly spirit of him so but now i can see that he's that michael keaton yeah you know which michael keaton is um jolly okay i just follow jolly then okay mm, we sit down on the red table you all take your seat at the red table. You don't have to wait long before someone comes down. It is not Sarah. You know of her as well. But she does see you all sitting there. Mm -hmm. I can help you. Are you new here? Yep. We're waiting for Sarah. You're waiting for Sarah. Do you have an appointment? Yes. And may I tell her who is wanting to see her? The glass cannons. Thank you. She will go up, come back down, and bring you all up to the upper floor of the guidepost through one of the stairwells. Uh, let's just pick a random one. Through that one. 
Let me remove Michael Keaton from the map. Choo. Remove Michael Keaton. Yeah, I'm, working on, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I heard it. Choo. There you go. Oh, there's there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> so you come through that stairwell. And there's quite a few people in here as well. They still all have the same face of anonymity, the Michael Keatons of the world. Um, and there's a few different ladies doing different things. Some are, looks like they're doing some tarot readings up here. Looks like here, they're kind of having a one-on-one -on -one seance. But she'll walk you past the uh, middle cauldron and fountain over here through this door and into this room where you four pile in uncomfortably to meet Sarah. Well, actually the kobold, he can fit like right there because he's tiny. <laughs> yeah. And Sarah is sitting there doing, well, it looks like she was meditating. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is it? Barker. Wait, who? Sex in the city, bro. Oh, okay. Or Hocus Pocus, come on. Get with the times. The witch! Come in, come in. Please, have, well, one of you can sit. Now, I know who you are and why you've come... I don't have much to offer you, but maybe a look into the future, into one of your futures. Is that something you'd like me to do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm raising my hand again all wiggly. I want to do You. You seem very eager to know your future. Let me warn you that seeing your future is not always a good thing. I mean, can you change it if you see it? How does this work? It can be confusing if you try to change your future from what you know of what's supposed to happen, what's fated. But I can give you that reading at least. Guys, I got this. Unless, Jolly, you're the leader. Do you want to go? No. Have this fun. Okay. I sit in the chair. I'm all smiles. All right. So you will sit in the chair all smiles. And she will grab your hands by the wrist facing upwards towards her. And it looks like she traces her finger down the middle finger all the way down to the palm. And she's reading the lines. I see. I'm getting spider bumps. Ooh. Actually, yes, I see. What? Spiders. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, that's not hard. I see. Grave danger for you. Oh, no. Is it in the Emerald Caves? Yes. I knew it. Obviously, the task is dangerous, but you in particular, I see, are in more danger than you should be. Hmm. Huh. I see... Shadows and darkness in your future. I can't tell if Yes, maybe death Oh, no She looks up at you But maybe not it's again it can be fickle Oh, I am so glad we came here. Are you yeah. ready to make your sales pitch which? I should Go totally ahead. talk sell to that guy about ending up like trinket. I need glass Steel like Fred. Can you Fred me? I say to her. I could provide you with an item that would bring you back here. Oh, yeah, okay. She pulls out a little orb that was under the table, the same size, large jawbreaker. Nice. If you say the magic word, hocus pocus. You will come back here. I I talked to her in Undercommon. Do you understand this? I don't know what you're saying. Okay, never mind. How about, I try Infernal. 
Do you know this? Please, just common here. A common currency. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, if what if I put it in someone else's hand and I say the magic word? Well, then it wouldn't do anything because they wouldn't be attuned to it. Oh, okay. I take it. I understand. You grab it, you hold it in your hand, and you can start attuning to it. Sure. Does anybody else want this? I kind of want it, knowing that I'm going to die, maybe, but if someone else really needs it, I understand. A good idea. She give it to you. Okay. Does anyone Thank else you. want to... Um... Well, you don't want to buy anything. We don't really have a lot of money. When you get down there, can you send the patrons back up at the white table? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I slide the chair back, and I get up and walk out. <laughs> yeah, I was in the chair. So you slide him and the chair back? <laughs> yeah, I, I grab the back of your chair, and I pull it away from the table. Oh, we're leaving. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. <laughs> all right. You all leave the building. Do you want to go meet with the last wizard or not? I mean, if each one has a special ball that gets us back here, we probably want at least three of them. Right? Yes, then only one must die. Right. Since I'm supposed to die anyways, maybe you guys should take them. She didn't say you were supposed to die. Uh, okay. You were just in danger of dying. Ah, uh, right. Gotcha. She didn't really say anything at all. No. I mean, she saw darkness Fortune and spiders. Tellers. Like, guys, that's obviously a thing. You are going to a cave and you are a drow. True. Yes, there will be spiders. Let's take you a... Know, let's go over to see Warwick. Okay. Warwick Davis. <laughs> so you guys Almost thought certainly. it was all hocus pocus. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of a believer. I'm like, I don't know. I feel pretty accurate. Darkness, spiders. Okay, so you'll all pile in. You'll go to Warwick's in the Downs District. I will stop by the white table and let them know that. Oh, needed. good call. What a nice guy. Thanks, Fizzle. Nice, Say your name, nicest Fizzle. Nicest sorcerer. <laughs> nicest sorcerer. <laughs> you will all stop by Warwick's house and let me. Uh, put you there so on the way to warwick's house i look at jolly and i say, so when it comes to time for our inevitable betrayal will you cue me in so i can disappear too <laughs> yes absolutely awesome thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean i'm, I'm from a drow society it's a way of life how they do things the door is open it seems like um people are coming and going in his house not an establishment but two patrons leave the house and you all walk in right did i put you on the page i did good is there is there still a lot of other people in here or is it just us at the moment there's a few people that are perusing some of the items on the uh, tables. One person's making potions in the back. All right. It is Warwick Davis. Nice. Okay. Um, he is a gnome sitting in one of the chairs, standing on one of the chairs to reach the table. <laughs> Even in his own house? Even in his own house. It's built for big people. Okay. Come in, come in. Hey, it's the glass cannons. I'm glad you're here. I come pick this up. Oh, Alex can't oh, hear us oh, anymore. You might not want to touch that. We lost Here Alex. We come back to us, Fizzle. Glitchy, glitch, glitch. Glitch, 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 glitch. There we go. There oh, he is. Don't know what happened there. I wouldn't touch that if I was you. He says as you go up to pick up the axe that's um, obviously enchanted. I really look into... back over my shoulder and wait for him to explain. 
Oh, that that that's cursed. I was just it's trying to give you a fair warning. Here. What's this thing? That that's also cursed. Oh, okay. Don't touch that. Yeah. How and, about do you, well? A, see, I skull? collect things, and I collect things that nobody else likes. So I own a lot of cursed things. Oh, I would I, be very careful about what you touch here. Are the books cursed? Some of them. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could curse a book. That's really interesting. Is this why Samuel Some of them are books of curses. Oh, wow. That's really cool, too. No, Samuel's in here to get some magical items. Duh. We don't want cursed items, though, I don't think. Mm. Well, not everything's cursed. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then let's just have a rundown on non-cursed variety. Oh, non-cursed variety. I have, well... I only have two. <laughs> Is one of them an orb that sends us back here? How did you know? <laughs> it was guess. We can, we can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs a, a large jawbreaker off the table, which it's um, glowing bright yellow. Yeah, if you use this, it can get one of you back here. I'll take Wait, it. What, what color is my jawbreaker? Uh, I don't know. Green. I thought they were blue. No, Jolly's is blue. Oh, they're all different colors. Yeah. Okay. But this one's yellow. Who wants this? I'll take it. He hands it to Little Fizzle. Actually, you guys I are the same Dan. size. I look at Dan sadly. But yeah, I also have um, something else if you want it. What is it? I don't know. Roll a d hundred. Okay, I do it. I say you should probably give it to Dan. Dan but can take it. Yes. D hundred. <laughs> Fizzle. Do you know yes. how to use that little device? Oh, I rolled it twice yeah. by accident. You'll need Eighty-seven. A magic word. Yes. Oh shit! I don't know the magic word for mine. Your magic word was hocus pocus. Um, hey, do you know the magic word for my orb? I pull mine out. Yours you know? was hocus pocus. Was it really? I don't know if it was. I wrote. I wrote down the notes. Someone's actually taking notes. <laughs> okay, hocus pocus. I got it. Which is how I noticed immediately that they didn't tell Alex his. I write it on my hand. Hocus pocus. You write it on your <laughs> hand. Oh, what is mine then? What is yours? Oh, it's Willow. Willow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, he got a 92 on the T-100. I don't even respond to the Willow comment. I rolled two D-100s by accident. Uh, oh, two D-10s I rolled with first. That 87. Was yeah. Oh, that's two D-10, but okay. You rolled two D-100. Or two D-100. Yeah. 63 plus 24 equals 87. I rolled the one D hundred. It was ninety two. Oh, I accidentally rolled a bunch of times. Oh, I'm just gonna take the sixty three. Okay, because that would have <laughs> been the first roll. Sure. So give me another D hundred roll. All righty, man. You got screwed. <laughs> well, stop rolling yeah, so whatever. much. <laughs> uh, Forty five. I didn't mean to. It just does it sometimes. He pulls out another white orb. About the same size, actually, as the Jawbreaker. And he looks at um, poor Dan, who you guys are talking yep. about not having one of these. This is not one of those. This is a Pearl of Power, though. Hey, Dan, there you go. That sounds good. Now we all have balls. <laughs> right. Maybe we should change our group name from Glass Cannon to the Ball Boys. But no that's your guild name. Oh, right. Yeah, but what, shouldn't we have like a group name? Like, we're the Ball Boys, the Glass Cannons. That sounds tough. Dead silence. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so, um, Aradan. Mm. That's you, Matt. Did he fall asleep over there? I don't know. Matt, are you there, dude? 
<laughs> He's just yeah, been okay. along for the ride. <laughs> the Pearl of Power is legit. It gives Anything. you spells back. But you How do you to... take the Pearl of Power? You need, you need a magic word. All right. I'll, I'll you have a Pearl of power. of power. There you right. go, man. Because we're going to leave you to die. Ask I hope you have dimension lore. <laughs> Uh, what's the command word? I just told you it's not one of those. It's not going to get you back here. It still requires a command word. Oh, well, that's also Willow, of course. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should have made it something else like Sorsha or like Mad Mardigan. Uh, nope. I told you I put uh, a lot of prep into this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those command words are Willow. I feel like I just got his one pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Can we sit down at your computer for a moment? <laughs> see your bank records? You want to see all my notes? Yeah. There's like mounds of them. <laughs> nice. I love it. Uh, I, I wrote some things down. Okay. Hey, I believe you, man. So the Pearl of Power, Matt, when you speak the command word Willow, you regain one expended spell slot up to third level. And once you do that, it cannot be used again until the next dawn. That's actually a really good item for uncommon. Yeah, it is. It's better than my Ring of Spell Story. Oh, your Ring of Spell Story has Edward's black tentacles in it. That's true. And uh, Dissonant Whispers, which That's is not That's awesome. Good. And you have ball and black tentacle. That's right. A big black tentacle. <laughs> We're good to go, guys. It's not black, actually. They're white and milky. <laughs> <laughs> Did not need to know. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I'm starting right. to tune into that thing. There you go. Yeah. You met with all three wizards. You have all the procurements you need. You have everything to get you through the Kisera Desert onto the Emerald Caves. And you can head out today. But you Let's should. Get the wagons together, the full caravan, the slaves, everything. We will be moving on the next part of this journey, the part I actually put any prep work into, which is the four the adventurers, journey. the four sorcerers going to the Emerald Caves. Yay. Um, how much of the journey do you even want to play out? Do you want to play out the journey? Or you want me to fast forward the time? Do you want I'm to fast forwarding single oh. second? Do you want to pass <laughs> more than one session? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> yeah. I want to finish this one this session. Well, assuming that we don't get attacked by orcs or bandits, then I would say. We can just montage it. No, nope, how many days does it take? Uh let's say it takes three because I picked that number arbitrarily. All right, cast your spells, Josh, and get new ones. <laughs> I thought about it really hard, yeah, but yeah, maybe I'll hang on to them. I gave you some good spells, unless and they're ones you can't normally cast. So. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Oh God, Willow. Big Willow. <laughs> Did he do up. it? Matt. Why is Did it? Willow so large? Matt, are you there? I'm here. Oh, hey. Can you cast healing spells? Yeah. Uh, I have... I, I just have healing word. Because I could dump the spells in my ring, and you can cast healing word five times into the ring during our journey, and I could have five healing words. Okay. That's what I'll do then. Sweet. Do you guys, what do you guys think? That's a good way to make so make it so that we have two healers. And a healing word is a bonus action, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. healing word is a bonus action, but remember, unless you use um, meta magic, you cannot cast another spell unless it's a cantrip. I got you. Um, how? What's the range on healing word? Sixty. Uh, Sixty feet. You know what? I'm gonna I keep Everett's black tentacles, but I'll I'll pop one healing word in instead. Go ahead and link your uh, ring on chat. Okay. Oh, you did already. Look at that. Yeah, I did already. I already did it. I did it. 
So, um, so I have Everett's Black Tentacles and one healing map back up. He's jacked. Yep, so it's spell, it stores spells cast into it. You do not need to be attuned to it to cast the spells into it. Cool. Yeah. So I get rid of Dissonant Whispers and I pop in a healing word. Okay. I, um... I don't know if I have any more shout outs. I don't see I think my emails are broken too. Still. Mm. But uh, thank Wine you, Witch Wine Witch, for followed. your follow. I've got that. And then yeah, guys, if you want to spend bacon on the campaign, you can help us create campaign three. We're outsourcing the establishments and all that stuff for you guys. NPCs, establishments. Let's see, uh Aridin, did you see that you have an inspiration. Looks like uh, Yarkonot gave you one. Nice. Put that in there. Yeah, mark it up, Captain Blues Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> A mission from God. You all what right is over there, Josh? What's up? You all right over there? Yeah, I just had to adjust my business. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? You call your yep. PS your mic? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Just because you talk into it? That's not <laughs> all I do with it. <laughs> no pants. <laughs> hey. So yeah, right. I'm going to fast forward the time. It's a three day journey to the Emerald Caves. And when you get there, you actually see they've built an outpost near there where people do live and work. And you've passed by a few caravans coming the opposite way that would have been used to transport goods, water, other essentials to the people that are in this outpost on that three-day journey. And... The ball is in your guys' court. The outpost is made up of two main buildings. One's a large watchtower, which seems like it's also used for common housing. It's a pretty large watchtower. Maybe 50 feet it. by 50. I don't have a picture of it. I'm making all this up on the fly. Cool. The second building is more of a housing, and it's a large tent. People are moving out and about, um, different various tasks. There's a fire that's lit cooking in the uh, middle of these two buildings, and there's some other makeshift encampments around as well. Smaller tents, different kinds of little buildings. <sighs> All right. Who knows where we're going? Good question. Um, I raise my I, hand. Uh, I, I point at one of the servants that came with the caravan. Uh, they didn't send any servants. Just you guys. Jesus Christ. That was the one thing that I stipulated I would need. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, yes, fine. Well, they lied. <laughs> All right. See, I knew this was going to happen. And Joke, it began. Jokes on them. They sent a bunch, but I killed them. Uh. All right. Um, so how big is this? So we, there's a, a tent, a tower. Yeah, obviously the tower. Okay. You're going to head over to the tower. The doors are open. The sun is burning bright. It's a hot day out. You're just... Uh, very bright. Very yeah, bright. Man, what is up with the sun? It's so warm. Yeah, why do you even live in this area, oh, Mr. Halfow? Because <laughs> I was a slave in the Underdark, so I escaped, and the farthest I could get away was the surface. Well, this is not your place. No. no, I'm not into it, but at least they're not other drought here. We're down. You guys just feel like you're going to fall off the edge all the time. Basically, I feel like I'm going to fall up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this feels gross. You, you guys don't look up when you look at the sky. You look down and <laughs> see, see the yawning abyss below you. <laughs> That's what it feels like, probably. I'm like, ah, oh, something's wrong. 
Oh. Fizzle, where, what's it like where you're from, Fizzle? Uh, mostly cave. About the I... same as you. How about you oh. pretend that this tower is a cave? You go inside and ask for directions to the Emerald Caves. Got it. I walk inside. You walk inside and... Fizzle, come on. Okay, I come with. This with tower you. is compartmentalized, so there's a few different sections, different rooms... The first room you go into, it seems like they've put all the goods kind of off to the side in different crates, sacks, and barrels, and someone's doing an inventory on everything. There's another doorway going through to the main room of the tower. Cool. You can... I go through. Okay, yeah. I so nod at the guy doing inventory. He doesn't even see you. He's kind of... His back's turned to you. You walk right past him. You walk into the main chamber, which... um. There's a large staircase going upwards, and it looks like it rings the entire tower, but there's more than Ooh. one floor. Uh, I just look for someone where I'm at in this room. Sure, you see a makeshift guard there. He doesn't look like he's in charge, but he looks like he knows what he's doing. Hey, you look like you know what you're doing. You got a second? He turns around. Yeah, what can I help you with? Well, I need to find my way into the Emerald Caves. Do you know where the entrance is? Well, you've, you've come to the right place. This is where the, the entrance to the Emerald Caves is, he says, as he kind of scratches the scruff of his chin. Yeah, yeah. How do I get into the caves? Well, you don't need an invitation to go in. You just walk right in. Where Where's the hole into the caves? I just need a physical location of the hole. I mean, I can point it out to you. It's not very far away. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. And what was your name's? I'm Al. This is Fizz. Fizz, huh. Never seen your kind around here. Oh, he's with me. He's cool. Yeah, You're talking to him or me? Yeah, he's <laughs> kind of thinking both, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we're both not from around here. Come to make our fame and fortune. Oh, you're not the first ones that have come this way to try that. Last people that nice. do, they didn't come back. We tried That's to send in someone to search and rescue, but they didn't come back either. We've been missing them for a while now. Ooh, That's okay. Johnny's we have basement. balls. Yeah, we do. We have magic balls that'll save us. <laughs> he sits there kind of stunned for a second, not knowing <laughs> how to respond to these guys that have 20 charisma and 16 <laughs> charisma talking yeah, about their balls. I, I mean, I'm a nice guy. Maybe he thinks I'm not... Maybe you think, I don't know. Like, most guys think I'm a nice, like, amiable dude, but I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about half the time. <laughs> I'm not from around here. I more started to plan my eighth intelligence, so. Right. So together, <laughs> we're an awesome team. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lucky. This guy's a nice guy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you want to see him? No. No, I don't. <laughs> no. Here, look. I pull mine out. He averts his gaze for a second while you reach into your pocket <laughs> oh, look it's okay man it's not gonna hurt you okay 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 i thought you're gonna flash me there for a minute why would i flash why would you, flash you? What's, <laughs> what's wrong with you man <laughs> i i, I kind of stage whisper to fizz I'm like people are so weird here <laughs> Bit truth so that's um, okay they're nice they are nice yeah i like people most of the time until they betray you did you want me to show you the entrance? Yes, yes that would be great. <laughs> Follow me. You're... Awesome, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for your help. I really appreciate it. If Have you ever been here find... before? Nope. Okay. There's... Oh, I'm from far, far away. It's a... It can be confusing. We've mapped out most of the caves that we've been through. Um, there's a few things we're still working on getting all the maps oh, hey. together. But... Can I buy a copy of that map? Yeah, you can buy a copy. Awesome. How much is it? I'll just give you one. It's not really... Oh, thanks. It's easy to transcribe. Man, you are so helpful. I tell you what, if I find those guys that went in, I will totally try to help them get out. You'll totally try to help me what? Help them get out, the guys that went in before us. Oh. If I find any of them. Right. Yeah, if you find the first party that went in, 
They put in about a month ago. And then after two okay. weeks of not coming out, we sent the next party in. That was our uh, some of the people that live here. Some of the people that have um, made this encampment their home. We lost Tim, his crew. Oh, no. Tim. If you, if you find them, can you help them come back here? Yeah. Do you have any, any names besides Tim? Let me, let me write them down. Yeah, I have Tim, there's Jonathan, there's... Hold on a second. Tim. Tim and Jonathan and Daniel, and then there's Al, and there's... Hey, that's your name. You're not right in right there. That's my name. I'm still here. Al. Oh. Wait, was Al with Tim and Jonathan? And the... Yeah, I think so. Is that all okay, I said? Then. Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, you're, Al. You're the one writing them down. Yep, I got it. Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, Al. Perfect. That's the four guys that went in? That's the four that went in. Those are the search and rescue guys. The adventurers, I honestly don't remember their name. They seem like they're prepped for the task, but obviously they haven't come back yet. They didn't have magic balls. Gotta right. have magic balls if you're going in here, evidently. Speaking of which, if you look right over there and he kind of points in <laughs> the same direction you pretty much were traveling the whole way here, if you go about mm -hmm. a mile that way, the entrance to the caves are there, and you can just go right in. There's no no one there, no one to stop you. It's not like it's being okay. a... What the hell just... What was that? What was what? <laughs> what? Do you see something? What are we talking about? Didn't see anything. Okay. Not distracting at all. Right. All right, so Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, Al, those are the search and rescue guys, and the four adventurers, you don't know their names, but if we find anybody that's not them and not doesn't look like me, we'll help them come out. Yeah. Well, good luck to you there. What's Dude. your name? My name is Kyle. Kyle, got it. Kyle, you've been super helpful. Hey, listen, if we come back from there and we don't have to use the magic balls to get out, I will totally give you a slice of the whatever we Please find, no. right? Oh, okay. No, you don't want it? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Kyle. I'm not going to flash you. I look at Fizzle again and I'm like shrug, like, what the fuck? <laughs> he kind of sits there stunned again, scratching the scruff of his chin. But seriously, you've been a super helpful guy, and if I can get you back in any way, I totally will. Well, you you take care of yourself. And take care of uh, Tim and all of them. I will if I can. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, sir. Oh, yeah, a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Okay. So I have the maps? Did you give me the maps? Yeah, he gave you some maps. That's all the charted territory. And then there's actually some entrances, multiple entrances into uncharted territories. Okay. Cool. Um, they look very large. The caves themselves. Sweet. Okay. I go back and I get uh, Dan and Jolly. All right. Dan and Jolly, who are... We have a rule about this, guys. <laughs> there. Is that the always split the party? Yeah, always split the party. No, the rule is don't draw penises on my map. <laughs> oh, what? I can't. I still see the inside of some room. Yeah, <laughs> where they were drawing penises. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Well, not rooms? on the overlay, luckily. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I go get you guys. Mr. Hey, Grumpy Pants so... wants to get to it. I met this nice guy, Kyle, and he gave me maps to the cave. Find him. He kept and... thinking we were going to flash him. I don't yeah, understand I don't why. understand what's going on there. He was, he was a strange fellow. I mean, you know, everybody's strange here. Uh, yeah, he kept thinking I was going to show all my bits. I mean, who does that? But anyways... Maybe custom did... around here. 
Why? Uh, okay. Maybe that's what you do? How do they have maps of these caves? Well, they have some parts that have been explored and some unexplored parts, but whenever they send guys into the unexplored parts, they don't come back, evidently, like Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, and Al. Um, those are the search and rescue team that went in, and they didn't come back, and they went after four adventurers that had gone in two weeks before them, and they didn't come back. So I told Kyle, if we meet any of these guys, we'll help them come back out, if we don't have to use our magic balls to get away. All right, let's take a look at these maps. Okay, I can't read maps very well, but here you go. You can't. There's not even words. What do you mean you can't read them? I mean, I'm just not like a good map guy, right? I'm more like a whole uh, take a left at the stalagmite that looks like a face and then go for two miles and go up the well you find and get outside. I'm like that kind of a guy. Oh. All right. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, here we go. I unroll the maps. I don't think anyone here can read maps very well, correct? <laughs> Who has the highest intelligence? That's the question. Well, not you. Eight. Yep, not you. Ten. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, what does Matt Twelve. Math? 12. Yeah. Aaron so and I have twelves. You guys can puzzle it out. I hand it to you. Yeah, you can. Um, I mean, it's a basic layout of a cave system, right? It shows all the explored areas. It shows um different symbols. Hey, give me a roll. It's just intelligence because you don't have cartography. You want to take this one? Whoever rolls their intelligence gets advantage. Or they can just roll a natural 20 on the first shot. Who's that? Oh, Eridan no. Doran. Oh, there that's you your full natural 20. Natural it's 20. So some of those markings... Of <laughs> you're just telling them what to do. Yeah, some of the markings on the map... They're different symbols, and you can tell they're actually, um, they're not easily read of what they're supposed to be, but you know what they mean, and they're, they're mining deposits where people have found different, uh, ore, or in this case, probably emerald, the emerald caves. If nothing else, perhaps we could line our pockets. While we were in there. With I was thinking about keeping the artifact for ourselves. I assume uh, that was a foregone conclusion. That's how everybody does business, right? Like that's if we bring it to them, they obviously keep it. Yeah. So we take so it. Obviously go back. We didn't find it. Well, we right. We can exactly. find some emeralds and give them a few of those and say Or if we find a couple magic things, we'll give them like the crappy one. Right? All right. Well, see if this is the entry here. Um, then we'll have to, you know, navigate over this way. So with your natural twenty as well, the looking it over, there's no real way to tell which is the right and which is the wrong direction. But you can tell there are some elevation changes on the map, which wouldn't be so distinct the way they drew it up. Like, it's not written, like, elevated going down or anything. Mm -hmm. But you can just read that there, Eridan. And uh, there's two ways that do go down, and one way that um, continues on straight from the entry point, I guess, of when you get down into the caves. Because obviously these caves are, you have to go down first anyways. If that makes sense. And I know how to get to the entrance. It's a mile or so that All right. So, yeah. You can all head to the entrance. Let's get, yeah, let's get moving. What time of day is it? It's high noon. Oh, high noon second. again. High noon. I like that time. High noon means someone's going to die. Did you say one second? All right. You guys start making your way towards the entrance of the cave. You pass by a few people that are coming back from the caves themselves. 
They kind of nod at you as they walk by. They look dirty and grimy and tired. And they head back towards the encampment. When you get to the entrance, I'm assuming Josh is still missing, so whatever. When you get back to, or when you get to the entrance, it's kind of just a hole in the ground, a giant about 100 foot diameter hole that goes down maybe 60 feet. However, there's a path that curves and zigzags all the way down from the southern side. It kind of snakes right and then snakes left and then right and left all the way down until you get to a little tiny hole in the earth about 60 feet downwards. And there's one person that's lagging behind everyone else who's walking up the path. He's about halfway up, just slowly trotting along up these, um, not quite paved, but they've laid down gravel, so it's settled. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Yeah, you just missed it, you died. Oh, I missed it, okay. <laughs> we made it to the entrance. You've and made it to the entrance. My destiny was fulfilled. <laughs> um, let's, I put up my hands to stop and indicate stop to the last person coming up. The last person coming up isn't even looking up. His eyes are kind of looking down at the ground. He's slowly limping his way up the uh, gravel. Zigzag. Oh, this guy is coming out? One guy. Hey, are you Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, or Al? No. They're they're probably dead. Ah, bummer. I told Kyle that I would try to bring him out if I found him. This, What's your name, this friend? This short, stout dwarf. His beard is bedraggled with sweat and grime. His face is filthy. His hair's frazzled. Oh. I'm Darth. Darth, nice to meet you. I shake his hand. He holds out a grimy, sweaty palm. Mmm. I give him nux instead. What? I... Fist bump him instead of shake. As soon oh. as I see how nasty he is, I was like, oh, fist okay. bump. I didn't, that's not what I heard. <laughs> Nux. Nux, man. Nux. Got it. What do you think I said? You've been talking about balls all day. What do you think I think you said? <laughs> I give him the nuts. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe that's... We did think maybe that was a, a thing that people did here. And I was like, you know, hey, what's up? I flash. <laughs> no, I don't do that. So, uh, what are you doing down there? What I do every day, mining. Oh, Oh. you guys are still mining this place, even though it's super dangerous and everybody dies. I see. I don't know if you have a grasp on what goes on here at all. I don't. You want to help me out? Maybe you could tell me. All right. We've been, we've been here for maybe two years mining this place out. Oh... And there's some places we don't go, but no, I've been here the whole time. I don't go to where the last people did. Could you take us to the place where Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, and Al disappeared? Oh my gods, I've just put in a 24-hour shift. I'm tired as fuck. This crown of madness on him. Whoa, no, 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 no. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's not going to be what you think it is man it's just that he can beat somebody up <laughs> doesn't control him <laughs> just makes him kick somebody's ass I'm assuming you don't do that right there um, Aridan I don't but I okay. want to you want to you look at Aridan he looks like ass. his jaw is clenched <laughs> it takes a wisdom of 10 or better to understand that he's upset with this man Oh, I'm like, hey, listen, I'm sure we can work something out. Maybe we could pay you. I don't want to be paid for going back there. I just put in a 24-hour shift. Did you not hear me? Well, how long until you go back in? I'll be going back in tomorrow. I'm going to take a long breather. A good at least 10 hours. Maybe we should wait 10 hours, too, and then we'll go back with you. And you you can show us where... Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, and Al disappeared. I can show Hello. you the tunnels they went through that. How about you show us on this map? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, I could do that, too. That's probably better. 
Yeah, good call. Instead of having to wait a full day. That's why Jolly's the guy. <laughs> That's why he just looks like kind of exasperated and a little impatient. <laughs> <laughs> I told right. you I wasn't a map guy. I'm sorry. Well, if you take this winding path down here, that's where they went to go find that last adventure and party. Um, that's where we should go. Yeah, if you think anyone's still alive, they're probably not alive. I wouldn't even well, worry about them at this point. That's eh, that's a place we don't go to. We we boarded up one of the entrances. You'll have to um, break through the boards to get through. Yeah, do you have cool. any gear to do that? You got a crowbar have, or anything? I do have a crowbar. <laughs> and I have fire if crowbar doesn't work. Right? I have more fire. Yeah, so we're good. Right? In this outpost, Yo. do you have uh, canaries in cages? Uh, some, no. Some equivalent. No. That's right. We have a gold. Why would you want a canary in the cage? Well, it wouldn't really work right out here, right? Because a lot of the things here, they can't survive in this uh, environment. So what you're thinking won't work like you think it will work. Why would you want a canary? Wait, what is a canary? There, like oh, you need a spider. Yeah, we'll find a spider. What? A spider. You bring a spider with you, and they're smaller. And so when the spider dies, you know that wherever you want, you shouldn't be. I know how that works. Well, I've right. never tried okay. with a spider before. Yeah, no, it works fine. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I, I don't canary? think that's a thing. I've I've been doing this my whole life. I've never heard of that. I mean, you that's how... the canary in a cold mine? What's a canary? I'm talking to... It is a bird. Oh. It's a small, small okay. bird. They also oh. die quickly. Oh. And I use minor illusion and in my hand to make a small yellow bird. Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw one of those once. If you don't mind. But it wasn't yellow. I'm going to get back to the camp. I'm tired. All right. Let's Again, I don't think you even have to go down there. They're probably dead. Who sent you? The Red Wizard <laughs> sent us. We don't need a rescue party anymore. We're not a rescue They'd party. A little late to this party. You yeah. should get some rest. You what did you say your name was again, man? My name is Darth. Darth. Hey, Why thanks the fuck for all are your you help. you doing Darth. that to me? <laughs> I'm not writing any of this down. <laughs> I am. <laughs> then why are you asking? <laughs> I didn't write it down the first time. I forgot Darth. <laughs> Dwarf Miner. <laughs> Okay. Right, go get some rest. I try to cut it off before they tell who we're working for, why we're here, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Thanks, Darth, for all your help, man. If there's anything we can do for you, don't hesitate. Hey. Huh? Let's, yeah. uh, let's, let's keep moving. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. You wind yourself down the gravel zigzag path to the cave entrance and... The location he marked for you is to scale a do long, you not have a long journey. Of a desert yet, or a map, or anything? No, I didn't <laughs> do that. Oh, I'm picturing like an altered version of like the slow motion walk of the astronauts and the cool hero music. Only it's the four of us walking through the desert in slow motion towards the entrance of the cave. Sure, if that's what you think's going on. That's what I think is going on. And in, in <laughs> Uh, Alatheris's head, that is what's going on. Okay. So, you get into the caves. It's a long journey. I'm going to fast forward time through this um, winding system. The map they gave you is all lines. It wasn't like um, details. The lines were all the cave tunnels. Mm -hmm. and you, you have to traverse about three days to get to that tunnel. That he sent Holy you to. Shit. I mean, I feel pretty comfortable in caves. Wait, three days in the caves after three days in the desert already? Three days in the caves. And you find that it's much more difficult to 
get through a lot of these places where instead of just walking, you'd have to do a little bit of um, creative spelunking. So for you guys, it takes three days. Mis- I don't have to. I have, I have eight climb. strength, eight strength, six strength. No, I have slippers of spider climb. I just walk. So you walk. Yep. And I can't prepare. Jolly also, he's fine at climbing for the most part. Strength the 14. Hmm. I'll, okay. uh, I'll use a uh, fly to get around easier. You gonna use your spells to fly? Yeah, you get some I can back do. Day, right? Yeah, we're gonna be multiple days, so. Okay, you can cut your journey down a little bit then. And I'll I'll up uh I'll use my uh, thing to double the duration so that I can fly twenty minutes at a time. I thought it was an hour. Uh, it's up to an hour, I believe. Let me double check it here. So that'd be more than twenty minutes. It'd be two hours if you double well, the duration. Uh, you double the duration. Fly lasts ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's only ten. Uh, minutes. Yep. I thought so. You use it for like the hour. hard stuff. Uh, invisibility is an hour. Right. But gotcha. yeah, fly is only ten minutes. Okay. I mean, how much do you weigh? Uh, as a kobold, I'm light. Or a, a small creature, so probably not more than like 80, 90 pounds. 80, 90 pounds is a lot. I can't carry it. Never mind. If you were like 30 pounds, I might be able to piggyback you with the slippers of spider climb. I mean, I still have scales, so I figure I'm probably not that light. But Okay. Okay. Then I don't do that. So yeah, you get through most of these tunnels without any problems until you get to the unexplored areas and going through them um everything at this point has been unexplored and you've been doing this for maybe three or so hours there's been a couple points where you're like i'm not sure if i should go left or right and you pick a direction as we go yeah okay that's that's a good call colored ink so we can tell what already there that's, that's any place that there's smart. a any place that there's a ceiling that's not super far away like a cavern i'll just walk on the ceiling instead of walk okay you walk on the ceiling because i feel like less things can get you on the ceiling okay if you were to occasionally chalk the ceiling too that would be useful uh, do you me? have chalk what do you have chalk uh sorry caravan said that Caravan said he can't hear me. Oh. Well, I can't hear him, so. Can't hear Alex. Oh. There we go. There you are. Now I hear, I can hear everybody. Hear. I can yeah, hear, I can hear. Uh, Alex. Can you hear him now? Can you hear me now? There you go. Matt? Did you hear Alex? Nope. Here. I can hear everybody. You're kind of cutting it out, man. Yeah. Maybe it's, in and out. you're cutting in and out. Weird. Bad reception uh, in the caves. Okay. I had a moment where I couldn't hear anyone and I just restarted Discord. You might want to try that. Just rejoin, or so not restart Discord, but... <laughs> he can't hear you, Alex. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I hear forgot. Alex at all. Yeah. Alex was giving you advice on how to <laughs> IT fix your stuff by restarting Discord, and then you immediately <laughs> interrupted him. <laughs> like, oh, he can't sorry. hear you. He can't hear you. Alex, oh, no. you should type it in the chat, man. Type in the chat. I'm going to disconnect and I'll reconnect. Yeah, just there you go. Discord. We'll see you back here in a minute. Oh, someone said in chat, uh, Cobalt are super light, similar to gnomes, weigh 30 pounds. So. Oh, so I can piggyback you through the harder sections, probably. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't even notice your weight if you were to just climb on my back. How yeah, about that, Alex? How go. about now? Uh, I can do it. Yeah, Yay. we're good. We can do it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. The one guy you couldn't hear was giving you advice. <laughs> <laughs> he's the guy giving you. He's like, "Hey, this is what you're doing. What? What?" <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, you piggyback the cobalt and you head towards the Emerald Caves. Well, towards the, the unexplored areas. Mm-hmm. Do you have a map of this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> cool. 
It's like, we are struggling. <laughs> Did you not expect us to get there? <laughs> That's the we're one thing in... I prepped for, was the okay. caves. It's like, we're still in Warwick's thing. Okay. You make it to the caves. Oh, God. I'm going to mute myself for a second. Go away! Uh, What's going on over there? I don't know, but that seems Cat exciting. Speaking. Oh, oh nice. No. <laughs> I was oh, like, why I did you mute yourself? To move me. Let's see. Wait a second. Oh, there it is. Eh. Wow, this is a really big black spot for where we're at. Oh. Yeah, you gotta move, scroll down. Oh, down yeah, center. okay. I got it. I can't move me. It must be only an only Ryan thing, which is fine. Yep. It looks like there's a little signpost right in front of us. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, what's that say? Abandon yeah. all hope. We read it. <laughs> it says... Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Explosive mm -hmm. runes. To both. Okay. Does the sign in front of us say explosive? No, that's not a sign. In fact, that's what I was just about to get to before... Oh, God. One more second. <laughs> <laughs> his, 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 his cats are like dying and they're just they go crazy every now and then and then they throw up right near Ryan to be like hey dad do you want to see what I had for lunch <laughs> oh boy what are the grossest cats Lucky ever. and Darwin are really great about that if one of them yaks they used to go off and do it by themselves and then the other one cleans it up mm -hmm. so. yeah. <laughs> it's like a self cleaning cycle yeah man <sighs> alright I'm back brother. Sorry right. about that, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we yeah. got you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is going to be our sessions from now on. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> okay. Where was I? That's not a sign. In fact, when you get there, it looks like someone's grave marker. Kind of a mm. makeshift grave marker. And there's a little pile of rubble that is um, covering up what you would assume is a body. The grave itself, it's just a couple planks put together in the shape of a cross and marked on it in a carving is two letters. A-L. Oh, it's Al. Man. Okay, I crossed him Isn't off the your list. your name Al? Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why she got confused about that die. This makes so much sense. Maybe his name is... Axland. Aber... Aber... Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, it's I just scratch Al off the list, pull the list out, scratch Al off. I'm like, I'm gonna be okay, guys. She just got confused. She saw the wrong Al dead. Mm. Fair enough. <sighs> and I kind of put you guys in an arbitrary order of what I thought you might be like, but you're four sorcerers, so I figured the guy with, that's the tortle. He's probably in front, I would guess. Yeah, he's the leader. This is where I get leadery. Yeah. And that's why I just linked my drift so I read it. I'm using it with with daylight and I just kind of drag it along with me. Oh, you have a drift, drift globe. globe. Sweet. That's pretty cool. The small sphere of thick glass weighs one pound. So you're inward. using the daylight or there's the regular, regular light? Regular light. Okay. Bucky, get out of there, man. Bucky, stop. More cats. Cats are just Bucky's assholes to, today. He's trying to get in the closet. <laughs> like, what are you guys to go doing at home right now? Yeah, he's confused. He's like, I want to live in the closet. I'm like, no, dude. You're going to go in there and barf on something. And if Darwin can't find it, it'll start to stink. So <laughs> don't do that. I think my cats are oh. missing you guys. Today. They're staring out the window waiting for everyone to show up. Uh, yeah. They don't even like people, but they're still waiting for you. I mean, they know what time it is. Like, it's the time those guys come. What's it's, going on? The invaders are coming. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, we can't move our tokens, by the way. I don't know if yeah. that's by design. That's because I haven't assigned them to you. Yet. Good call. So let me figure out how to do Sign that again. Us. Control by Brian. Can you control yours, Brian? Mm -mm -mm. Still? I'm not getting any kind of action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then I didn't uh, do it right. 
Select move. Select move, right? Oh, I have to save changes. I can move mine now. I figured out what I did wrong. I did it right, and then I didn't save it. Oh. I can't move mine. Oh, there we go. Is that me that keeps oh. pinging? Who's pinging? Wait out of here. That's Whitey. Matt. Could be me. Could be. Could be me. All right, now you're good. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay, everyone should have their own yep. control. There we go. So, hey, hey, you guys can um start exploring these caves as you see fit, and as you start exploring, I will start uncovering more of the map. These cave ceilings are about 15 feet in height. The walls are rough to the touch. It looks like at one point these were cut by um, people, not channeled by water or anything that's um, carved these paths. So hmm. someone here has opened up these areas before. I'm going to light a torch and then use control flames at the back the group to uh, make my uh, see the bright light and dim light uh, twice as far. Oh. So mm. I'm lighting up the back of the group. Okay. I can see 120 can feet see without distort. light. So yep. I don't need the light to see. In fact, uh, being from the Underdark, I think I understand that light and not light doesn't mean that things are hiding or not hiding because they need light to see either sometimes. So I try to use line of sight to stay hidden on the ceiling as I walk along the ceiling. Hmm. Should I roll a stealth? Where are you Does going? It matter? Yeah, go ahead and roll a stealth. Are you going to take I'm just the out these guys, But I'm trying to be hidden from the ceiling instead of being like, hi, I'm down here with everybody. So... I don't hide. I, do I did not do it. I'm loud up there. I like botch bump again. into stuff and it falls down. The two times <laughs> you've rolled botch. this game, you just botch. Yep. <laughs> so bad. Maybe you should stop rolling. Uh, we'll see what happens. So you go that way, Mr. Not Mr. Brown. Jolly, the turtle. I follow Jolly. And you see webs there. Give me a perception check. Hmm. Perception. Just this. Jolly or. Yeah, because he's in the lead and he's blocking a little bit. Unless you stack on top of him, I guess. That work? That works. I mean, yeah, I'm standing on the ceiling. Through a thick tangle of webs through this corridor, you see a what seems like it might be a trail of old blood. Oh, yeah, that's the way we should go. Through the spider webs and blood, we're not that interested. <laughs> we don't want to know? Mm -hmm. Well, we do want to know eventually. I mean, she Would was right. Like she saw spiders. That is the part of, um, yeah, go ahead. Burn the web. <laughs> okay. I'll go up to the front there. <laughs> and I'll use a control flame oh, to... <laughs> That's why I got over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good leader. <laughs> totally what I'm used to. I'm like, I wanted, oh, just to check, I wanted to check out this thing. Yeah, sure you did. So rolling initiative. Roll your initiative. So be fuck. Oh, you know, oh, I forgot you know what I should do guys. before you roll initiative. What's up? Hit the counter. I should add you somehow to the turns. Add turn. I Add rolled turn. 21. Add turn. Add turn. Add turn. Oh. How do you roll initiative? There we go. There we go. Knew I should have taken animal handling. What'd you get there, <laughs> Josh? 21. 21. You can write in your own initiatives if you did them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because it should auto calculate it when you roll it, unless you do it before I um, add you a turn. Okay. 21. Hey, wait, it says uh, uh, you want to send the result to this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. Same here. How do I do this? Just so, type it in. If you go for the, the number, you can select the number and type it in. I can't type it in. Oh, that's weird. What was yours? Oh, 
Uh, well, mine was my first try. I tried to roll it was a seven, so mm-hmm. I'll go with seven. <laughs> yeah, you surprised them. Um, what you see is a giant, giant spider that you surprise when you round the corner. You start prepping a spell. And it didn't even realize you were here. Mm. <laughs> so, um, let's go from the top. Oh, I should make that so it shows from the top. Uh, well, you were just holding, I'm assuming, waiting for the little seven. kobold to go. Correct there. What's your face? Al? Talking what's to your me, face? Al Eutheris. That's you, Josh. Oh, what do you want to know about me? You would be first, but were you waiting for the kobold to do his thing? Yeah, he was like, I'm going to burn the weapon. He ran to the front. I will stand behind him on the ceiling. Okay. Go ahead. I figured I am where I am. Go ahead, um, Fizzle. You look over and you see this giant spider in this tangle of webs. It looks at you, all eight eyes, kind of just... The whole head throws its way into your direction. It bears its fangs. Uh, so expand the flames from my torch in one direction. It says provided wood or other fuel is present at the new location. I figured the webs will burn. So I'll try to bring it from my uh, torch to the web. So you're going to use a spell to do that, or just your torch? Uh, a cantrip. Yeah, control flames. Oh. I have it, too. Cool. So... so oh, you can expand expanding the flames, the flame. flames one direction. Nice. So he's going to put the flames right here. I take it. Yep. Uh, just put the flames right here, expand it into there, and hope that it'll everything will catch. Okay. The web catches on fire. Almost immediately, it doesn't like um, go up like the lint of a sock, but it goes, it starts spreading rapidly. So this turn, it spreads to here. And then I move back and I tell him, I see spider, might move back. She was right. She was totally right. There is spiders. (laughs) So there's flames right there. The okay. spider shrieks as the flames um, start to grow and come nearer to it. And that's my turn. I say, run, buddy. Who? To the spider. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's next? Aridan, you want to go? Uh, Aridan's going to move back and let the fire do its thing. You let the fire do its thing. Next. Like Jolly. <laughs> I like how you've hid the furthest away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went around the corner, man. <laughs> Not interested in that. Um, so I'm going to come. I'll continue to come. Oh, let's see if I can. That's not what I meant to do. Select. I can get rid of this symbol, don't worry. Yeah, I'm going to come over here and wait to see if anything and attacks um, our crazy (laughs) route companion. Okay, are you holding your turn? I will. Let's see, I was here, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll come. I'll come all the way up and I'll hold my turn. Okay. What are you what are you readying yourself for? Um so there were spider webs, mm-hmm. so I'm waiting for a spider. If a large spider comes out, I am going to use the uh da, 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 the spell frostbite. Okay. Perfect. And that was everyone's turns. Were you holding your action for anything, Josh? Who me? Yeah. I mean, I'll cast Mage Armor on myself if you can take an action that turn. Okay, you, you cast Mage Armor on yourself. Oop. And the enemies go last. The spider shrieks 
And what you see is a multitude of tiny little insects crawl off its back in a hurry, Ooh, rush under and up and down and on the sides of the wall and straight towards you in a swarm. Through the fire? Through the fire. Mm. I said, oh, it's a mom. We're in trouble. And so, there's thousands of them. The oh, spider itself was common. huge. So these, well, the spider itself was large. These are actually, um, they're not like tiny. Well, yeah, they're the size of mice or rats. Oh, these are the tarantulas. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. So I say out loud in under by law, this chit in his abdomen, we're fucked. <laughs> that, that's probably Ew. an apt um, expression. Yeah, you can just <laughs> stay down here and die with your brethren. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your turn yet. Can't leave it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Whoops. Who's got I'm the map? Um, that's a good question. Probably. I thought Dan had the map. Aradan. You were Dan. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have the map. Okay. You're the map wap wielder. Gotcha. Uh, so I'm spider food. Here's a question. Definitely. When a swarm moves, I did technically say if a big old spider comes. I know you out. said big spider, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that a swarm of spiders is going to get that same reaction gonna, from you. Okay. <laughs> that panic, like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So can I? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I cast on VTT. Did that work? Constitution save. So they need to make a DC 15 constitution save. Or they take four cold damage. Or they take four cold damage. All right, so they will roll their con save. They fail, pathetically, as the um, frostbite... What's the spell do? Is it a single target? Uh, you rolled real sad. They did. Frostbite. Numbing so. frost to form on some of these creatures, and they'll take... Well, it should it's be 2d6. Oh, I see. It's that was 2d6. Yep, it was uh, 3 <laughs> and a 1. <laughs> Disadvantage of so, the next weapon attack roll makes before the end of its next turn. Oh, that's great, because once they're in sight, they just continue moving mm. right there. Mm. And they're going to occupy your space. Yeah, before and, they bite me, I'm like, hi, friends. Then I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, no, no. <laughs> Oh, spiders! You, yeah, like, here comes oh. the spiders of the darkness. Hi, guys. Uh, On the upside, your grave is right here, and it's already marked. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> she totally <laughs> called this, didn't she? <laughs> totally called I this. feel like giving you an inspiration for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, the upside. It's totally okay. worked already. They will try to bite you okay and they're all trying to bite you at the same time how does that work do they make a roll or they're do gonna they roll make a hit. save they're gonna oh. roll hit. they have disadvantage yay well sort of <laughs> so they're swarming around the next you. weapon attack roll i guess does it have natural weapons yeah melee like, weapon that was attack well, if it says weapon, then the uh, creature's abilities would say weapon, which it does. It says it's a melee weapon attack for them to bite you as they're swarming over you and on you and on your arms. They're crawling up into your pant legs, your robe legs, no. whatever you have. Oh, this is so bad. I hate it so much. My character is Keep not afraid it. of spiders like I am. <laughs> and you guys see oh, itching and this over one. Here. Move to the back, out of sight. Oh, she abandoned her children? Bad, bad mom. Or her children abandoned her. And um, does the fire spell you cast, Alex, does that do any damage or just expands flames? Uh, just expands flame. It okay, says. so not magic damage. Although things that go through it might still take fire damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it specifically says it has to be a non-magical fire. Okay. So. Hence the torch. And that was round one. 
back to the top. You have spiders crawling up. One's actually in your hair, kind of tangled up in it. Al, mm, mm. what are you going to do? So how does it work if I try to move away? Does it not work? Well, Can I move away? you'd provoke an attack of opportunity. Um, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Let me see. This is bad. I cast Blink on myself. You cast Blink, and where do you go? Uh, actually, I'm gonna. I am going to use one of my things and make it a uh, like so I can cast the spell and a cantrip at the same time. Right. Yeah, you can do two spells at once. Meta magic. Yeah. I'm gonna use one of my sorcery spells. How does that work? Well, you cast a bonus oh, action. Twinned. Well, you cast one as a bonus action, right? Can't target a second creature, quicken spell. Spend two Free sorcery talking. points to change its thing to... So I spend two sorcery points. But then you can't okay. cast two bonus actions. No, I just cast one spell and one bonus action. Correct. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm going to cast Blink on myself. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Firebolt at this, these things on me. Where are you going to blink to? Uh, at the at blink, it, let's see, the way it works is kind of strange. Oh, you so, vanish into the ethereal. I don't blink for sure, though. I roll a d20 at the end of my turn, each of my turns for the duration of the spell. On a roll of 11 or higher, I vanish from current plane of existence and appear in the ethereal plane. At the start of your next turn, when the spell ends, if you're on the ethereal plane, you return to an unoccupied space of your choice. You okay. can see within 10 So at the end of your round. turn, you're going to roll a d20. Yeah, basically. To see if I disappear, because it's not for sure. So you're gonna cast Firebolt on the swarm that's on you? Uh, can I cast like at my feet? Do I have to hit myself with it? It's occupying your space. <laughs> I guess so, that's a good question. I don't know how that works. Um, I guess you have to target a creature, right? Sure. Yeah. So you target the spiderlings. Yeah. And then I will firebolt. You spread your fingers. The firebolt extends from the tips and you shoot. Roll to hit. Let's see. Um, firebolt. Did it do it? No. Okay. That's good to know. Um. Is it part of your actions? Like oh, your here we attacks? go. Firebolt. Now did it do it? There it did it. I rolled 25 to hit. 25 to hit is a huge hit. With 10 fire damage, as you hear a few of them popping. And real tiny little shrieking screams. Then I roll a d20. Fuck, I don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to move? Um... Yeah, I do want to move. But you had well, it says disengage at or the move? end of your turn, though, right? Oh, oh that is right. at the end nope. of your turn. So that's it. I'm done. I tried to blink. I didn't go anywhere. All <laughs> they're, right. They're all I'm over him. I'm yelling, get him off, get him off, get him off. Hey, wait. I'm on the ceiling, right? Yeah. What happens if I just fall? You do they come take with fall me? damage. <laughs> and do they just come with me? Yeah, they're on you. I guess I stay where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> So there's now a hanging, cocooned, not really cocooned, but um, spider-covered spider. drow who has set a few of them on fire and killed a few of them, too. I'm like, get them off, get them off, get them off, get them off. These guys are not friendly. They're not friendly. Spiders, they're bad spiders, bad spiders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you're yelling for me to get them off, correct? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. So, okay. do you help him? <laughs> uh, I will cast Dragon Breath on myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And I'll aim a 15-foot cone up towards the ceiling. <laughs> what? <Dragon> Breath. <laughs> Fire. Fire. Yeah, fire. 
Wow. Seems like the classic dragon breath. Make right? a dexterity save. Um, nope. Al. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'm going to eat good at hot this. fire. No. Nope. The spiderlings fail. I also fail. You also we all fail. fail together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what's going now. on. I'm busy trying to brush them off while I burn. Okay. Yeah. You are burning. Does it set them on fire? Uh, well, I like the It does not here. look like it does. So it doesn't oh. set him on fire, but it does just cinder and char the entire outside of your body for... How much damage? 3d6. Uh, five. See here. That was five. Oh, no, that was me. That was me doing the deck save. Oh, that, <laughs> that was, was you. Um, can you... I'm going to give you. Oh, uh, click the 3d6, uh, Alex. Oh, can you do that? Yep. I can do it. Oh, once nice. Oh, let me try again. You that. really oh, want this. Shit. <laughs> you really. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for the help, though, really. I well, at least you rolled like a god on damage. So, yeah. <laughs> that's why I tried to help you out. Um, yeah, that spell is enough to cinder and char every last spider on your body, including your body. Take 16 I damage. Scream, I scream like a woman as all my hair burns off. <laughs> they are off now. <laughs> oh my god, that was bad. That was so bad. That was amazing. <laughs> but the spiralings are dead. Good job. Oh, it was so horrible. Uh... What are you doing next? You guys want to go in turn order? Fizz, sure. you're going to have to put down, put out that fire. Oh, you want me to put it out? Yeah. Okay. I'll use I, control flames to extinguish. A five foot section, right? Five foot by five yep. foot, yeah. So you actually, it's now traveling as well. Yeah, basically this is extinguished that. here on the top two tiles right there. Yep. It'll be fine. And it'll eventually go out. Okay. Fire out now. Okay. At the end of my turn, I'm going to roll to see if I blink. Oh, first I'll move. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hmm. blink. I come look over here. Where? I was really hoping you were going to blink out because I was going to do that <laughs> in the first place. I come look over here. What do I see? Uh, Mm, there is our foe. And then let's see if I blink at the end of my turn. Fucking blink. I don't blink. What is this spell any good for? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I've never cast it before, so I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead there, Dan. Aerodan. Uh, let's see. What's my move speed here? Probably six. What are you? Are you human? Yeah, half elf. Half elf. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess I can. I, yeah, okay. Can I move right here? Yeah, I can move right here. There's a little path. Yep, you could be right there. And I'm like, oh, I'll be I see done. It. It's in there. Okay, you are done. Jeez. You can't actually see it. The only one that saw it was Al, and then he moved out of line of sight of it. I'm like, I see her. She's in there. She's real mad that we killed her baby. All right. After Aridan is Jolly. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. It kind of snaps oh. off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you go all the way in. Yeah, you see I'm, her. Yeah. I need to see what's going on. You see her. She is there, kind of hunched back in the corner. She looks a little cindered, like she ran through this fire. And her fangs are bared and dripping with venom. All right, let's see here. Then I cast Enlarge Reduce and Reduce Her. The target size is halved in all dimensions. Its weight is reduced to eighth of normal. Decreases from probably large to medium. 
and has disadvantage on strength text and strength saving throws. Holy shit. All right. Wow. Target's attack deal 1d4 less damage. So he um, channels a magical energy in his hands, and all of a sudden you see this large, mean-looking spider turn into a... Well, it still looks mean. It's just dog size now. Con save to do that. Oh, yeah. You need to roll a... It's just dog size now. <laughs> and it looks really pissed as it goes to attack you. Actually, nice. it goes up and over the ceiling and... What? For real? Attacks <laughs> you, uh, Mr. Kobold. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought it was going to eat me. I was going to be like, no. <laughs> what is, is your AC? Bench. Does it come within uh, 17. Uh, attack no, opportunity range? because it crawls up on the ceiling. Okay, yeah. I'm up there. It's not like you hit it with a stick anyway. <laughs> it drops down onto you. Or it kind of climbs down the side of the wall. Okay. <laughs> I had a little bit of lag there, as you can tell. I rolled three times. The first roll was a four. And that is definitely a miss as it tries to bite you. It just bites around the top of your staff and kind of shakes it around violently. Go ahead, Al. You guys uh, have this uh, mama spider cornered and surrounded. A bunch of sorcerers. Okay. Is it Al's turn so, now? Top of the order? Top of the order. Dan. Dan. Not Al. Dan had moved. That's what his last turn was. Dan is a 10 initiative. Uh, the elf oh, Al is gotcha. 21. Uh, I back up. <gasps> Disengage? I cast. Um, nope. Alright, so it. before you back up too far, it tries to lunge at you a little from the side of the wall. And it uh, uh, hits with a total. What's your AC? Uh, so here's the thing. My AC is a 16, but it can get higher. Well, I will let you know if it hits you or not. It makes okay. a 16 to hit. Okay, then that's a yes. My AC goes up by 5. Okay, so you cast shield. Yep, so boom. And as it tries to bite you, this uh, translucent blue light appears around a <laughs> And it bounces off, and it's kind of clinging onto the wall. It scrabbles down the wall a few inches, catching itself. Okay, so after I back up, I cast... Um, Maximilian's Earthen Grass. I choose a five-foot space. Uh, five-foot square and occupied space in the ground. A medium hand made from compact soil and dirt rises up and reaches out for one creature that I can see. It must make a strength saving throw, which I think it has disadvantage on now. Correct. Ooh, which reminds me. I cast a second level spell, Ryan, just in case you need to. Oh, you're a wild yeah. magic sorcerer. Oh, shit. Fireball the party. <laughs> <laughs> so it hey, rolled with disadvantage and it failed. Or is that six old? I can't even tell anymore. That six is. I think you, the only one you rolled right no, now. No, I think I just 18. rolled the six and the 18. Oh. It fails its save. Okay. And, so oh, I see. Save. The damage is already done. Nine plus six is. Or is six the save? Uh, Five plus six is what it is. Yep, it failed that. And then I see your damage is already rolled. So it's. 2d6, which made 9 damage. What's yep. the bludgeoning? Uh, Link the whole spell in. Okay. Takes 2d6 bludgeoning damage and restrain for the spell's duration. That's an actual damage twice. Uh, here, here, we'll do this. Here, let me do it. Let me display on VTT. I just put, I just put the whole thing on. Okay, oh, so, so it takes 2d6 damage, and then if it fails, it saves. It takes another 2d6, or half if yep. it saves. No, it makes an initial strength saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 2d6 bludgeoning damage as a restraint. As an action, I can cause the hand to crush the restrained target 
I'm just making oh, that second 2d6 is the crush. Mm -hmm. I failed saver has much damage as a successful one. Okay, so it took nine damage of crushing damage when you first cast it. It comes right. up and grabs it. And now it's restrained. I don't know why I rolled it twice. Good question. All right. Whatever. It took nine. It's restrained. Crunch. I'm like, get back from it. Yeah, you kind of see um, a rocky-looking hand to match the terrain reach up and out of the ground, and it reaches its fingers around the spider's appendages and restrains it. It's like squishing it. Yep. Squish. Next. Jolly? Not Jolly. Fizzle? You guys have weird names. Uh, so it is how far away from me? It's right on me, or? It is. Yeah, it's right on you. It was trying to attack you. Okay, I'm going to move around it and do fire breath at it against the wall. Okay. Is that a cone as well? Uh, yes, they have to make a dex save. I'm using the same fire breath that I had before. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did not take damage. Okay. It does make oh, the wait. save. At the end of my turn, can I try and blink? Yes. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oop. I don't blink. <laughs> I go the uh, So you, so... Um, fizz, you spew magical energy from your mouth, uh, magical fire, I'm assuming. You can actually choose. Yep. Fire. And oh, you can do this every round for a minute. Yep. And it has wow. disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So it takes half the damage. Yep. So Wait. five damage. Why does it take half? Because it's safe. Because you made the save. It has disadvantage on saving throws for dexterity because it's restrained. Oh That's right. A question. It does. I, it I does. just looked it up. So yep. What's your save? Uh, 14. It saves. Oh, man. All right. Uh, one second. Let me actually look and see if that counts for my... Because uh, I have a spell... Or a, a war wand plus two. So let's see. It's eight plus my... The plus two doesn't change your spell save. DC just gives you plus two to hit. Right. Sure. I thought they did. Nope. That would be nice. It's only uh, like the rod of the pack's keeper. Oh, I think. yep. Uh, plus, plus two, two to attack, attack rolls, and you ignore half cover when making spell attacks. Okay. okay. Yep. So yes, it does make Never the mind. save. It takes five fire damage, and you already moved. Unless you want to move further and give it a chance to attack you, you always can do that. Uh, nope, I'm good where I am. Okay. It looks angry at you, even though it's being kind of held in place and grasped towards the floor and the wall. Go I ahead, Dan. Eridan. Eridan. Attack rolls against to have advantage, and its attack rolls have disadvantage, too. Don't be a chicken. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude, use your balls. Uh, Putting feathers in your butt does not make you a chicken. I cast uh, <laughs> Electrocute on it. Okay. Electrocute. If it takes an attack roll, you have advantage. So you... Did it three nope. times, but the first Sorry. one is a hit. The 22. Okay. You spread your fingers out, and a streak of lightning shoots out from him, wraps itself around the spider, and curls around its body, doing eight lightning damage. Which is enough to kill it. It kind of curls, its legs start to curl in on itself. It starts kind of rolling itself up into a ball as you have now slayed the mama. And this is the first time I've seen a spider. I'm like, uh, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny spider? Yeah. <laughs> oh, does it actually get back its size after it dies? Um, mm. nah. It suddenly fills the cave and Jolly's stuck. Whenever he drops the spell, I'll say. Yeah, whenever concentration drops. Ooh. But I'll come over here and take a little gander at this here dead man. Oh, that's definitely a dead man over there. I see. Um, looks like he is buried under a little bit of rubble. Mm. 
Ooh, can I make the earthen hand move? Uh, so I am going to check. You also see, as you guys are in here, just so you can all see together, there's a few shapes that were in the webs. Mm, yep. And the now. cocoons have cindered off the creatures and some of the bodies look pretty beat up. Oh, that's sad. Well, they buried their friend over there and then died over here. <laughs> There's three so of them. I am, I'm going to loot this one, looking mostly for, um, well, obviously magical and monetary goodies, but also for identification, anything that might tell me who he is. And then, if nothing else, I'm going to um, bite off a finger and keep it so that somebody may be able to do magical resurrection or something on him and put it mm. in my pocket. Mm. Okay. That's a weird way to do it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good idea. You don't have a weapon that can do it instead of your teeth? Or your I don't have snap teeth. I have a turtle beak. beak? I have a he's beak. a snapping turtle. He's good, man. He knows what he's yeah, you you bite that finger off. Just it doesn't take much effort either. It's gross. Yeah, I put it in my pocket. Um, there's some mining gear that's kind of buried under the rubble. There's a little pile of wood there, but no, there's nothing monetarily of value there. Little... I'll come look over here. You find some copper pieces. They are. Yeah, the cocoons have all been burned away, so now they're just um bodies. One of them Who are? takes a breath. <gasps> oh, hey, one of them's okay. Hey, oh. man. Heal. Can you heal Dan, him? Dan, heal him. Uh, is, is this necessary? <laughs> yeah. I told I told Kyle I would help anybody out. I fell and found down here. Heal him. Why don't you heal him? Because I have ring. one heal that's for you when you fall down if you do a tat. <laughs> <laughs> My heal is supposed to be for you. If you want me to use it now, I will. All right. I'll uh, cast a first level healing word. All right. You cast a first level healing word. Uh, seven hit points back to this. Not only um, poisoned and petrified corpse. Well, not corpse. He's alive. But he's he petrified. Looks How do you breathe? Well, he can still. He's not stone. Oh. Paralyzed, I should say. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. Okay, okay. Better word for it. He doesn't open his eyes, even though he's been healed. He's not moving around. He's just clinging on to life before you healed him. i sorry I set you on fire. Yeah, me too. <laughs> he doesn't hear you. <laughs> it's okay. I, I thought he was talking to me. So I was like... <laughs> <laughs> he probably was talking to you. <laughs> totally. <laughs> right. <laughs> he doesn't. I mean, he's not conscious. Mm, I like. I'm like giving the slap around treatment. Well, Does now you're just around? slapping him around. <laughs> I mean, not hard. I have the strength of eight. I literally can't slap him for damage. It's not possible. Well, it's always a minimum of one. I thought it was one pl uh, with your strength mod factored in. Sure. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so why is it one times one? <laughs> so when Fizz does it, does someone gain health? <laughs> <laughs> Healing slap. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time. And that's yeah, a new right. concept for a sorcerer. <laughs> it's, it's a back it's, massager. <laughs> it's like the Fifty Shades of Grey. It's like slap, 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 slap. Until you feel oh. good. Oh, no. <laughs> so this guy's not going to come around. He's obviously poisoned. He's Great, obviously uh, poisoned. Just wasted a spell. No, you saved his life. I mean, he'll live. He just isn't going to get up and do anything for a little while. He's going to starve to death. Maybe we should drag his buddy's corpse over there so he has something to eat. Poison doesn't last forever, guys. If it doesn't kill you right out, usually you get better. Uh, maybe one of you should provide him with your returning orb. Mm. I mean, you did promise. I promised I would bring him out if I didn't use my magic ball. 
<laughs> that was my promise. <laughs> and you haven't used it. <laughs> Yet is the operative word here. Do you want me to die? Are you the reason that she saw death in my future? <laughs> I'm just... Just wanted to make sure you'll be able to look yourself in the mirror and sleep at night. Well, that's not hard. Oh, <gasps> God! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Kill it. Kill it sleeping, at, sleeping at night is not happening for a while. <laughs> Stomp on it. <laughs> no. Roll it over. Roll it over. <laughs> I just... I don't blink away. <laughs> I walk over the here. poor man, you turn him over and you see his charred and scarred face. I prop him back in the corner and I try to hide him with... Maybe bring him by here. Yeah, that's right. I, Away maybe, from Webb. Hey. Sure. Yeah, there you go. Maybe. Put him over by the body. By the grave. Put a blanket on him. him. And I drag him. Okay. We shall grab him on the way out and try to help him. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Was there any other corpses in here? Uh, yeah, right, there are a couple others. Too. Okay, you move yeah. them all over. Yeah, you put them over there. That's the yeah, one you bit the finger off of. Well, yeah. actually, you don't move him. His legs are buried under rubble. Oh, I know what happens now. Hey, you got a I sword. I toss the finger in the pile. <laughs> <laughs> I toss the finger in the body pile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Right on this guy. The body pile is now <laughs> kind of like three bodies deep. Man, and a finger. He's back him separate, though, right? And a he's finger. He's not, like, underneath his friends. <laughs> no. I am hurt. Can you heal me, Dan? Uh, Yeah, how hurt are you? Uh, I have 34 out of 50 hit points. I will use the second level on you. Yeah. Thanks, man. I investigate this thing. That statue? It's like a, in the shape of what you would think is probably a dragon. A crude Ten design. Oh, this is my special. points, man. Yeah, but... Well, roll your investigation. That dragon. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty crudely done. <laughs> that dragon. Needs more detail here. Um, I, are you sure? Yep. Okay. I mean, you're the dragon guy, so all right. It's not a spider. <laughs> we saw those up close. Mm. Interesting. I just well. stand above Fizzle on the ceiling. Okay. Is there any chance this is tied to the source of power? Doesn't look very powerful to me. Okay. As he does that, everyone make a dexterity save. Oh, man. Even you on the ceiling. Even me on the ceiling? Yep. Mm -hmm. Except um, the turtle oh, nice. doesn't have to do it. <gasps> Yay! Oh, <laughs> you triggered the trap and the rest of us burn. <laughs> I roll a 20. I rolled a 6. You do save on a 20. You do not save on a 6. Where's the kobold? Uh, He's on me. Yeah. I'm standing over his head. Okay. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> He's You're short, standing so like can, head to head. I can stand on the ceiling if it's 15 feet oh, tall. Oh, you both or... rolled a 20. Wow. Yep. So you two save. One does not. And you will take either full damage. If you don't save, that's... Um, there we go. Nine damage, or you'll take four if you save. Okay. Fire gouts of out of this oh. creature's mouth in a giant cone, and it fills the area, <laughs> but it also um kind of hits these guys, too. Oh, no. It goes around the corner and fills that little cave hall and oh, makes the guy that you just... <laughs> <laughs> I shrug. That you just healed... Who automatically fails dexterity saves? He does. 
He's got cover though. He was under bodies. <laughs> and the blanket. <laughs> Which are now on fire. Oh. Uh, is he dead? Uh he's not screaming, but he wasn't talking either. I guess I run over there and try and put him out. I use control <laughs> flame to put him out. I also have control <laughs> flame. <laughs> The grave kind of <laughs> goes out to the flames start to go down little by little. Yeah, the I can do it from where I'm at. Control flames, 60 feet. The planks of the grave mark died I'm with like, a cinder. Shit. <laughs> and so does his face. Uh, He's now cindering. Is he? I put him out. Is he dead? Uh, you don't know. He's not breathing. I go over there. He's not breathing? All right, I sure. I did the best I could. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And by the way, <laughs> uh, I forgot this, but I do an extra three damage for my fire. Oh, nice! Always elemental affinity. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Josh, you have three more damage. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> cool. Good to know. Sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm hurt, dude. I'm with the turtle. <laughs> like I'm cooked. <laughs> I, I leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't go with the tur- behind the turtle anymore. I stay towards the. Point. That was the best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> yep, you guys go ahead. I got your back. I'm at the six, right? <laughs> I like how you're having really bad luck with stuff. Oh, so and... bad. <laughs> botch, botch, de botch, botch, and, and on she... fire. <laughs> predicted that you would die. She did. She predicted I would die. I was like, oh, that witch. She totally saw the future. Maybe I should use my magic ball now and just call it a day. <laughs> How far can you see? Do you have dark vision? Or are you still lo- using light? I have um, my orb going. Okay. That's I'm 60 going. feet, right? I believe. Let's see where I have 120 foot. So do I. I also orb. have 120 foot dark vision. So my 60 feet. Air float no more. If you move, eliminate the light or daylight spell. So the spell of light. light. I think it's 20 and 20. 20 bright, 20 dim. Yep. And object shows bright light in a 20 foot radius and dim for another 20. Okay. Trying to get better and faster at this for you. Yeah, you can get. It's so like sm- five feet away. Oh, look, it's a giant troll. <laughs> So right. you're moving up into the cavern system, and you do see your first diverging path. Well, I guess it's your second diverging path, but the other one was kind of a little dead end. Yep. Let's, uh... All right. As a leader, I don't stop and ask questions. Duke. Of course you don't. I don't ask opinions or anything like that. We just go this way. Make sure you mark this down on your map. Hey, wait, why is our turn order? <laughs> well, I'm just putting them back for the reset. Okay. Because I always forget to do that on time. So you're going up this way. There we go. I'm just going to peek over here before I go. <laughs> it's just going to peek. I have 120 sure foot that? Dark I am. I have 120 foot dark vision. Okay, uh, I'll peek over here so I can see what's down that hallway. <laughs> of course you will. I want to see what's over here. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be sneaky. I want to be stealthy. Where drow? <laughs> right? <laughs> he snuck up ahead. <laughs> oh, you lying sack. I'm not sneaky at all. Whatever. If I, if I notice they're leaving without me, I run and catch up. Right through the wall. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, I didn't go through the wall. All right, so you run and catch up as they're moving on. What's everyone's passive perception? My (laughs) (laughs) He laughs. (laughs) He laughs. I got a 12. Nine. (laughs) Yes. Okay. 15. I'm just there to provide light. Fifteen? Mm-hmm. 
You see something strange. I slow down. You... I put up a hand. Have everyone stop and stay quiet. I bump a dart and... Oh, what the... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Watch it. I'm gonna move up closer. And I'll investigate something strange. I'll make a dexterity save. <laughs> hey, you actually make it. A spike that was kind of sitting in a hole in the wall juts out at lightning speed and pierces into you. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong die. Mm. Uh, take five damage. Wait, didn't you say he makes it? So take two damage. Okay. You know what's really interesting is so far, the turtle has avoided all the trap merely by happenstance. <laughs> <laughs> he is a great fucking leader. Okay. <laughs> if you guys like, just listened to me and did what I did. He went first and was fine. He didn't go first and was fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's doing a good job then. <laughs> Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I pretend... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, go go ahead. <laughs> You're going to let him go now? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I will stay away from the spike and follow. Yeah, it's, it's done. It's been triggered. Good job. So you keep moving through these caverns. Slowly. And methodically. That's what you see. So you can continue moving. As you move, I'll reveal. Alright. That's the one. Oh, Jesus. And the new trap goes off. And goes in deep. <laughs> goes in balls deep into the other. Use your magic ball. Use your magic ball. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yep. I hang back in this hallway. Like, mm. You don't see any of that. You see a little bit of that. Yeah, but as back. they walk into an open area, I'm like, oh, have fun with that. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> I put my beak into the air and I sniff twice. Do you actually have, like, enhanced smelling? No. But, I don't <laughs> this way. but you do stop. Give me a perception check. And janked. Everybody? Um. Yeah. Everyone can give me a perception check. Great. Wow. Nice one. Oh, there Everyone you go. What the hell? <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's persuasion, not perception. I <laughs> try this again. There we go. That's more what I was expecting. <laughs> All right. It looks like um, two successes, two failures, which is enough to succeed as a group check. You guys stop for a nice. half a second. You take a second to sniff the air and like, listen. Wait, I hear something. And you do hear the sound of talking coming from, well, this area down here. Hmm. Yeah, but that's the way my 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 nose knew it. You can't hear what they're saying. It's like kind of muffled from the distance. I'm sneaky. Should I check it out? Which of you can go unseen? I know at least one of you can cast invisibility. <laughs> Does no one else raise their hand? I slowly raise my hand. <laughs> 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 cast invisibility i can cast it yeah perhaps cast it on somebody else good idea <laughs> hey, are I, you I ready your, i can see your intestines <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hair is all gone and like this is swollen shut <laughs> that's a good fizz are you ready i can no go. uh maybe dan should go <laughs> but you ask me 
I know. I was wrong. Why you don't let me go? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Fine. You want to go? <laughs> I'm just you might get more intelligent intelligence from Dan. What you try to say? And yeah, you are great at breathing fire, buddy. And that is your thing. Stick with what you're good at. I come over oh. here to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with it. I reach down from the ceiling. Do you reach up to touch my hand? Yeah, go ahead. Touch my hand. That's All right. weird. That's not <laughs> a finger. <laughs> <laughs> and I cast invisibility on you. Weep. All right, you are now invisible. Roll your stealth with advantage. Put click on yourself and you, and then the little circle is below you, and you can be ninja or something, so you remember you're invisible. Oh yeah, the ninja. Click the circle. I will. I got nice. it. Roll. I got this it. This should be uh, what. Uh, what is that? Roll it Josh twice, Mister Aradan. Yeah, what is that? Oh, A guy with the arrow sticking out of his back. Oh, how do you do that? Oh, That's great. Quick. All okay. I have is a ninja. Well, it's a good thing you were invisible. Oh, no, there we go. Because your first was roll was face. awful, but your second roll was awesome. <coughs> and you're sneaking through the caverns. Where are you going? You can move your token as you go. Uh, where'd we hear the voices from? You heard them from over here. That direction. Oh, okay. All right, so I'll keep revealing... I'm going to give him a count of six, and then I'm going to come a little bit closer and see if okay. I can see anything. I go over here, where I know what's already over. Do you have dark vision, Aradan? I do. Yep, I'm half out. He has 60 foot. You see a light spilling from the cavern uh, to the eastward side move up a little bit going still or did i mute it yeah it's still yeah, going. It's going oh it's just between songs gotcha creep up to the edge here all right well that's still what you see because you have to go real close to look do i hear anything yeah you hear, hear a couple better? people talking what been here saying? I don't know if we're gonna make it, man. It's it's not looking good. Um, oh, I'm I'm really sorry for every bad thing I've ever said to you. You're really not that bad a guy. I, oh, no. I love you, man. I'm sorry. It's okay. I I'm sorry too. Well, maybe I'll see you in the afterlife. I'm gonna look in. Okay, you're gonna look in. You're invisible. It doesn't matter if they see you. Yeah. See a couple people there. Oh, nice. It's either Tim, Jonathan, Daniel, or it's not Al. We know it's not Al. But. <laughs> hey, Tim. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, my God. It is Tim. <laughs> what a tool, man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see you though um he's just kind of like got his hand resting on his friend's shoulder he's not I'm smiling gonna... happily over there it's <laughs> <laughs> like we're not gonna make it smile <laughs> Ding. where's the other guy ah he's there i didn't make a token for the other oh, guy okay oh the other um, guy's not leaving i get it it's bad i didn't say that <laughs> I mean, his Which best friend's already gone. You know that. Al. Al. Man, they didn't get very far after they buried Al. They buried Al. <laughs> Fuck it, we're gonna... <laughs> uh, I'm he gonna must have died over here, and then they just dragged him back a little bit so that he wouldn't <laughs> stick up the place. Good call, good call. I'm like, yo, you guys can still make it. You're right there. I'm gonna cast Gust. And make the flames on the fire <laughs> dance. Well, when you uh, cast a spell, you'll become visible. visible. Yep. 
dramatic entrance. Yep, dramatic entrance. So the flames do gust, and they kind of flare up in just a, a little bit of a spout. And then when they settle back down, kind of fingering down like a, I don't know, falling rain or something, you see you, Aradan. They're looking at you kind of shocked like, who are you? What? Have you come to rescue us? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulls out a fork and a knife. <laughs> he kind of backs hey, up what's slowly. The... I am not here to rescue you. What's going on, guys? You're not there. No, I'm talking to these guys back here. Like, hey, are we going up? You, you, you wait your turn. Yeah, we're waiting. <laughs> All right. We're gonna we're gonna let him have his. All right. Yeah. But uh, hopefully, it's fortunate for you that we're here. Um, we're I. Who else is here? Did they send you? Oh, did you see uh, Kyle? No. Uh, please. We maybe we're starving. We haven't had anything to eat for about two days. Yeah, Our water's running some, low. I'll throw him, you know, my water sack and gross. <laughs> and some food. Okay. You throw him some food and they're oh my oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you. You have no idea. We've been down here for about three weeks. It's I don't even know. We've been losing track. Of, oh, thank you. As he's trying to like scarf down food as greedily and quickly as possible. Uh, what, what's your name, soldier? Uh, Aridin. Uh, Aridin, thank you. May the gods bless you for eternity. Mm. He starts chewing. All right. Well, come on then. Where are we going? We're gonna go back to my friends. Um, is there? We tried to leave earlier. And we thought we heard something out there. It was scraping against the walls. And we heard someone screaming at one point. Um, is it safe out there? Of course it is. Come on, he kind of mm -hmm. slaps his friend in the chest. <laughs> he believes you. Okay. They look kind of terrified and kind of exhausted and weary. Of course it's safe. Come with me, children. I have candy. <laughs> that's what this sounds like so they will hit with you <clears throat> yep oh. and we'll come walking back here <laughs> so they'll go with you oh, thank the gods you're all here hey are you Tim, Jonathan, or Daniel? my name's Tim Tim, Kyle said that I should help you out if I find you oh, thank you so much we found Thank Al. You. I'm so sorry. I, uh, yeah, he was a good friend, a good dear friend. Kind of an ass, but a good friend. Well, you know, that happens. Um, all right, well, maybe, hey, have you guys been any farther in? No, we, we camped over here. Um, well, Dan, he tried to leave. We heard him screaming from back there. He thought it was safe. It wasn't. No, that's true. There was a giant spider, but we killed it. And it's babies. Oh, by the gods. There were two over there, at least. No, there were four over there. There were four people over there. Well, there were only four in our party. And I know what happened to Al. I know what happened to... Dan. Huh, there were also some adventurers that came through here. Weren't you guys looking for adventurers? We were. We kind of got trapped. And before we found anything. Well, we can walk you back to the spot where this cave joins up with the safer stuff that the miners hang out in. Please. So it's a couple of days out of here. Please. Anything. Do okay. you have extra rations we can take with us? Uh, I have some rations. Bless your souls. You also can eat some of the giant spider. It's kind of like what you guys call Steve spiders. It's not bad once you burn it. For you. And we did, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a 
circle of life. They eat your friends, you eat them. Yeah, Perfect. that's not bad. All right, come on, let's go back. Wash right. out for the spike and the statue that breathes fire. All right, so he'll <laughs> head with you back to the front entrance. Yeah, I drop him off, and I'm like, here's some food. Have a good time. Here's some of bodies. <laughs> yeah, don't look, don't look. Al's grave has been desecrated by fire. Whoops. <laughs> well, not my fire this time. Don't look, don't look. All right, Jim. Yeah. Everyone blames fire. Where Tell Kyle I said hi. That's what I say as I wave to them, and they leave. They leave, and thank you, thank you, as they kind of get further away. See you later, unless I have to use my magic. He hey, shouts. You... you guys can hear him shouting from up here. Are you going back by yourself? No, oh, Fizz is coming with me. Okay. You guys should check out this other branch while you're back. Which See? other branch? Uh, right here. Uh, uh, this one. The one where you were starting to look. Oh, uh, uh, just... all by ourselves? Well, I mean, just in the Diablo sense, you want to clear the map, make sure there's not just like a chest of gold that we're missing. Okay, Fizz, you go ahead. I got your back. <laughs> okay, I go. Nice. <laughs> he Good goes. Job, buddy. I peek around corner. Okay. We both have 120 foot dark vision, so. So you peek around the corner and that's what you see. And... I hold my action. That's you run. You I run too. What about this area? Are you gonna oh, go around and look? Okay. So yeah, I'll you go look around. Right here, you can actually see just a little itty bitty bit of bleeding light through on the ground. It's very That's light. Kinda, yep. So I'll tell you oh, what, can I tell you, can I get in there? I'm gonna hold my action yeah, you can to get run in there. Like F. If I see him start running. Roll deck save. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's my favorite <laughs> words today. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> put, yeah, put your face up against here and peer your eye through the hole. Yeah, smell that. See if it what burns. What the hell? <laughs> you oh, it's magically trap. and kind of reactionarily jump over the pit trap that was about to you're about to drop into that's filled with sharp metal looking spikes i'll casually go over it <laughs> <laughs> i'm on the ceiling so i'm cool yeah, he just dances over it he goes that way and oh. see anything here yeah you do you see light i see light here oh yeah, is that, you a, area that can crack, and you can see through that little sliver right there, that crack, you see a campsite, which is probably where Tim came from. Oh, yep. All right, now I know what this is. Let's go back. Can I squeeze through here or no? Yeah, you can squeeze through there. No one else could. Okay. Oh, I'm by myself now. <laughs> Make the journey alone. Oh, <laughs> I know. So I mean, this is how it happens. I'm like, full sprint. <laughs> yeah, I just run. Like, do, 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 you don't want to look over here? I'm like, nope. He shouts I'm okay. as you leave. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. I'm like, and you go back. back. Your friend, While you squid. guys were doing that, they're on their own end of the journey. So you can leave your tokens. What were you doing, Jolly and Dan? I figure, like, Unless you are waiting in place. Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty much here and waiting in place. Okay, so then they'll all group up. Okay. And now you... Well, you probably see a little bit of this area. Is there a hotkey to switch between pan and select mode yet? Um, well, you can right-click to pan. Right-click and hold. Okay. okay. Yeah, right-click and hold does it. Perfect. It's or I really just like, scroll easy. around. Well, right click and hold is the easiest way to do it. I don't know if I double finger drag. Look up here it, yet? Then it Should we go there? Me. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. You quickly find out it's a dead end. Okay. Mm. Over here. Why so many dead ends? Because it's a cave system. Like you know that. You need to find the source of power. You need to get at it. 
God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that seems safe. That's all I say. So many dead ends. Well, guys. Mm. It's not that time yet. Mm. Here we go. The emeralds. Ooh. Mm. Should we take emeralds? Yes. This source? This is not source. It it's not called Emerald Cave. If they don't know emeralds here. True. I know where we have to go. But Al is not that. So smart, when you walk so into just... this room, you see a pretty large light source of emerald. <sighs> And it's mostly stemming from that huge cluster on the southern end of this cave where some of it's kind of up and out of reach except for Spider Guy. And it's more value than you've probably known. Like, emerald is very expensive, and this is just a huge, unrefined uh, cluster. Maybe Come over to it, a little bit. Can I first, take some out? You try to break off a bigger chunk at first, and it doesn't budge. But you see one like tiny sliver that's kind of jutting out of the uh, cluster, and you can break mm -hmm. off like the smaller slivers. What it if I use my crowbar? when you do it. Uh, sure, give me a strength check. Mm, I'll try. I right. used the pickaxe that I looted from crowbar. Finger Donator. Huh, I roll a 16. You roll a 16, you're able to pry just a little sliver of um, a tiny bit bigger than what you have. It's still okay. like um, the size of three pencils together. The hot right. dog size. I put the emerald hot dog <laughs> in my backpack. <laughs> I try to break off a piece too, but fail you, horribly. You kind of poke yourself. Ow! Ow. <laughs> huh. So I'm going to use the pickaxe that I looted from Mr. Finger Donator. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to chisel away a little bit of the rock behind some of the emerald so that I can pry from behind and get a big old basketball-sized chunk. All right, roll a strength check. Athletics, get, if you have it. Do I get advantage because of the uh, Are you pickaxe? proficient with mining? Probably not. Nope. I'm going to go to a dark corner and myself. So, yeah. Strength I will say the crowbar. Save. Using crowbar advantage. advantage. Advantage strength checks. Oh, nice. So I should have advantage. Well, you already rolled, but you could go ahead and roll again. Probably won't get better than what you had. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> so with that a 20 awesome. there, Mr. Jolly, you are able to carve out a decent sized chunk on that left hand side wall of emerald. And it's not a basketball size, but it is a baseball sized emerald. That's nice. And that was with like three solid swings. But when you Shouldn't did that, you definitely are like making a lot of racket. Probably mm. louder than when Mr. Alutheris was shouting. Ooh. I'm like, shh, what are you doing? Shh. I take three more solid swings. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> clang, clang, clang. So you could just take, like, a good solid minute of smashing into the rock behind it, and you manage to get yourself another good cluster um, about the same size. Two it it broke in half, so you got a couple halves. We share, right? Share? Share. Alright. I give him a squinty <laughs> look and I try to pry another piece out for my... This is more wealth than we would have made on the entire journey. Let's not be hasty. Maybe we should go home now. We can go home anytime. We have uh, balls. Hold. Time out. Did anyone else hear that? Was that just the music? Was that, that was the music. Like, okay. It's like, holy sh... Wait, what was... <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> I, 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 did you not... Having a case of the freak out. Do you have that mu muted or something? It's making weird alien noises. 
<laughs> just what, what, what are you honest. doing, Captain Crispy? <laughs> just <laughs> just dungeony music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we could leave now. Yeah. If I leave now, we can teleport back. Leave when we think it's dangerous. Hey, look, I think it's dangerous. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Fine. I'm, I'm pretty hurt already. I'm open to ideas. As you go. You cut off. I mean, I think, I think there's one place where we haven't gone yet, and that's down here. I point on the map. Mm. See my well, bleep? You point on the charted map. Right. Well, you, no, you, you know making... there's still uncharted areas. Dan's still making annotations. Right? As we go. Dan, <laughs> he laughs. Dan, Dan gives a couple shakes and okay. pulls out the map. So we haven't done here yet. So there right. is one branch that you've accounted for that we haven't yet pursued. Right. Going let's, this way. Let's go see. Alright, the kobold's okay. in the lead now. <laughs> Trap. <laughs> we already tricked your old trap. Whoa, Dan. Where's Dan? Dan's gone. He went through the wall. Yo, dude. He's, he's like over here somewhere. Yeah. yeah Ryan, can you put me back? Where'd you go? <laughs> What'd he's you do? Somewhere over here. He went to the fog. Why'd the you do so. that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Go check it out. Let's wait for our map maker. I am having some issues right now. <laughs> you just walked into the wall. Yeah, you are. You're right here. <laughs> I take a peek. Do you not see it? Yeah, I can just see it. And I'm just having like... Oh, what? I just lost. There we go. There you go. You know, you can just click it and move it. You don't have to move one by one. Yeah, I know. I'm having troubles with my selecting right now. Oh, I'll I can help you out. Oop, there you go. I You're right by the... your scroll. <laughs> you, just, you just put it back. There you go. You caught us. All right. All right. I did that. So let's see if he can do it from this point on. All right. I'm looking at the Oh, hit see. S to get to select mode. Nice. Nope, that didn't do it. There you go. I'm going to see down here. What's the uh, turn order? Looks like Al's volunteering to go first. No, fuck no. Dan's oh, in front of me. Oh, Dan's in front of you now. I'm just peeking. I'm just looking around the corner. Does anyone have their light? I have 120 foot dark vision. Well, I don't care. That's not my question. Well, I have dark vision. I have my light. I don't have dark vision. That's why I have light. Uh, okay, that makes sense. You want me to light up light as well, leader? It's a glowing orb. It doesn't need fire. No, do you want me to make additional light? More torch. More torch uh, light. Yeah, go go on ahead and use a torch so I can see. Okay. I'll light up a torch and make it twice as bright. This bright? Ow, yeah. my Turn eye. Turn that up to the front so I can see around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, leader. I like this guy's style. <laughs> You're like, this guy knows how to get shit done. Reminds me of home. <laughs> Slavery? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Horrible taskmasters. Evil, evil overlords. So that's bright light for me. Holy shit. Only I see that. Yeah, I can't see what's going on. It's okay. this massive radius. Yeah, he yep. put in a massive radius that only I can see. Really. That's bright light, and then it's a uh, dim light for the rest of it. Whoa. And obviously it doesn't go around corners or anything. But... Figured it was a good representation of what we're actually yeah. looking I like it. 
You guys continue on through these winding tunnels. Slowly but surely, you're going to get there eventually. Yeah, light radiuses are actually pretty long. They're pretty huge, yeah. Just put mine on and it. Yeah, it's humongous. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's messing up my screen. <laughs> Let's see what... Uh, it's a good thing you guys can't see what's Twitch, going on. Twitch cannot see... No. Either. So it's no. just markers for us. That's good. Mm. Yeah. That bridge up here. Diamonds and dice just just hosted for us. Hey guys. Thanks, man. We'll see what's going on. Man, I didn't realize that we were going. all oh, there was this much going on over here so yeah i just did it to the extent of your light i can see it 120 feet what do i see down there <laughs> so make a click on your thing on your settings don't do that <laughs> 20 foot aura mm -hmm. make it something like black or orange or something oh man look at that mass kind of, what's that massive chunk down there of emerald more emerald. Somebody built a bridge over here. So this... I don't have to see what's over in here. I'm looking left yeah, and right. Me too. I walk across the ceiling to over here. How does, yeah, how, what's the ceiling look like in here? Oops. Okay, sorry. The ceiling is actually much larger in here. here. So when you get into this cavern, you see that it is a very, very large cavern. And give me a perception check when you get about halfway up the bridge. When I get about what? Not you. But you can still give oh. me a perception check. Okay. Halfway on the bridge. Uh, mine's an 18. I don't yep. know why I just... I wanted a group it. check. Wow. That's pretty good there. Oh, wait, you rolled 18, 11, 18. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, I rolled 18. Only two people I rolled. Rolled 11, and Matt rolled an 18, and Alex rolled a 14. Chris B in 18, I rolled 11. Did someone yeah, roll twice? Two. Someone did a strength check. I rolled a 1 by accident. Oh, okay. It was a strength check. It wasn't a perception. I don't know what happened there. Well, you, you all succeed yeah. as you're um, definitely not going to be surprised. But you oh. hear the sounds of whooshing air, like a uh, steam releasing from a geyser. You hear the sounds of cranking, like. <laughs> this is when you're about halfway up the bridge. So let me put on the battle music. And you can put yourselves halfway on the bridge, except for you, Josh. You are on the ceiling nearby. Yep. How high up is the ceiling? Back to us, man. A little bit. How, Ryan, how high up is the ceiling? About 30 feet up. Okay. When from here... Ooh. You see this collection of air forming into... As if it has a mass. It's forming into almost a humanoid-like creature... And then you see from the other side the same thing. It's like being released from the cave walls in a hiss. Psh, and it's starting to form into a body. And roll your initiative. Mm. Word. Uh, which one's my initiative? That one. Initiative. Dang it. Roll. Roll. Uh, oop, eight. Not so great. Okay. You go ahead and mark your own initiatives for me, by the way, okay. if it doesn't do it hey, automatically. I worked this time. It's because I edited it beforehand. 
I wonder if you have to have your token selected in order to actually roll it. Oh, oh. That's a good question. Let's see, mine was a six, so I can change it back. I just test this. They both yep, rush in and they move distances, they move gaps quickly. Oh no, is he on the ceiling? Yeah. It is floating in the air, kind of collecting like a small tornado genie um, as it moves towards you, and they both go to attack. Make a DC 13 strength save, everyone, except for Jolly. (laughs) (laughs) They're like, yeah, let's pass on that guy. (laughs) Strength save? Strength save. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Loth. Aradan, the only one that didn't make it. It (laughs) goes through your space, and it starts like in a frenzy of wind, whipping your clothes and everything around, and only Aradan gets picked up and flung. Oh, no. Shit. In a random direction. One is north. So kind of geysers into the water. He hits against the wall, falls into the water, and you'll also take some damage. Anyone that's saved will take less damage. Oh, God, I can't take a lot of damage. (laughs) I'm hurt, man. (laughs) This might be where we find out that four sorcerers is a bad move. I yep. knew that which was right. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of damage is it, by the way? Um, this damage is bludgeoning damage mm. for every ten feet it was thrown, and oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you also take three d eight plus two bludgeoning damage, and you're flung. I- Adios, amigos. That's that's gonna one shot you, man. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Peace. Whoa. Oh, yeah. that was not a that. There's the damage. Nineteen damage so to Aladdin. But we all take eight. And then nope. There's more damage. That was the initial fling. That, that was okay. So what do we take? That made the save. Yep, I'm looking it up. Wait, so was that the initial? That was the initial. That was the initial. So you take that, but halved if you saved. So Nineteen, not, and then he's gonna take more. Or eight. I'm reading. It's a long text list. It's, like a, it's probably a... Oh, you know what? It doesn't even say you take half. Nice. So we save. We stay where we're at. And you. Only Aladan's going to take the brunt of this damage, actually. One, two, three. So it's the 19 or the 8? Oh. Okay, so I am confused. So Aladan takes 19 and 16. Correct. So what happens is it pulls him up into the whirlwind. It pulls him up into that funnel and flings him. And that alone was enough to do crushing damage as he's being like spun and twisted his arms are twisting in the wrong ways you see his elbow like bend backwards at one point as he's being flung around and then he's flung 20 feet away and hits the wall lands in the water knocked prone probably unconscious almost and i don't see that it actually says you take half damage Oh yeah, it's at the very, very end. If the saving throw is successful, you take half the bludgeoning damage and are not knocked away. So you two that saved will take eight damage. Uh, Nine damage. Err, okay. That was their turn, and they kind of moved right through you. I'm just about bloodied. Oh no. Oh. So this guy here, he's on the ground level. This guy is up in the air. Oh, I'm totally screwed. I know what I have to do. (laughs) 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 
<laughs> that was their turn. Go ahead. Your turn. Uh, oh, man. Al. Oh, fuck. Okay. How I'm hurt already... are you? Uh, I have 28 hit points left. That would have killed you can, me. You can put your uh, hit point thing on there. I'm showing mine 61 of 74. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm showing uh, mine. It's got 61 left. All right. So <laughs> I. Okay. Here we go. I am going to try to meta map. How much hit points you got left, Josh? 28. I don't know how to do the hit point thing. Oh, I'll keep going. Okay. So I got to figure out uh, what I'm doing here. I got to... How do I use meta magic stuff? Da -da -da -da. Font of magic. Um... Twin spell. It was spells level, so I think that that's is it three or four. Um, that's fourth level. Okay, so I spend four meta magic points, which is I now have one left. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna add twin banishment on these guys. Oh Whoa. shit! I'm like, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Banishment. It's weird. Fail. <laughs> fail. They both fail. You yes. kind of finger gun at one area, you finger gun down below you, and they both just pop out of existence. As soon as they come in, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you up, Aladdin? Barely. Barely. Hey, um, uh, Fizzle, how do you put your health bar above you? Uh, the gear icon, you click on that, and then the third bar, mm -hmm. uh, you can put, uh, like, the first one I have 61, and the second one I have 74. So the first oh, one is current, so you have to have both of them What's your maximum hit yep. points, Josh? There, I got it. Boop. That's where I'm at. 28 out of 50. I don't think it worked. Yeah, I can see my bar. I can I see it, see but... Mine. Players can't see it. Sure. Yeah, I can't oh. see yours. I, can see I can't mine. see yours either, Alex. Oh, okay. you know what? Players can't see Alex's either. Yeah, I can't okay. see Alex's. Yeah, I can see my own. That's it. But I can see mine. I'm messed up, guys. <laughs> like, but I, at least I took care of these guys. I was like, mm. boop, boop. How about now? Does that work? Ooh. I just yeah, got I Alex's to be seen. I see Alex's. There's like an extra button in there. Maybe this will work. There we go. Perfect. They both nice. blink out of existence. I don't see Dan's. Oh, I got my name in the initiative. Dan's too. is up there. Hey, look. I don't know if they're going to come Oh, back. my God. <laughs> what? Three guys with 50 hit points. One guy with 74. <laughs> Two people are fully healthy. Two people are fucked. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, I made them go away for a minute. They might not be back. Does anybody know if they are native here or not? <laughs> Whose turn was that, by the way? That was my turn. That was turn one. <laughs> or af Sorry. That was the turn after them. Mm -hmm. They went and then he went. So I made them go away, but sometimes they come back. This right, way. Yeah. I start to run. <laughs> All right. Okay, this fight. Well, don't right. go too hasty. Aladdin, come on. We have to go now. They're going to come back, probably. Come on, Aladdin. I look longingly at this chunk uh, of crystals. Can I climb back on the bridge? Oh, F. I run back. Of course you can. Over here, across the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> What is that that I see there? Something's you see coming. something wheeling its way across the cavern floor, and that's the big cranking sound like tick 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 tick. Hey, I got an inspiration. Thanks, guys. Oh, I gotta use mine. You take a peek around the corner, and a bolt launches. What's your AC again? Uh, seventeen. I pull out my magic ball. <laughs> <laughs> it 
launches an explosive charge right at you. Each creature in a 20 foot area. Oh, I guess it doesn't roll a d20. Make a DC 15 dexterity save, Fizzle. Fail. So each creature. Just just fizzle right here. Okay. <clears throat> you see this explosion around him and it deals a large amount of fire damage. Oh, or not large if it's just um fourteen out of five D six. Good call. <laughs> Absorb element. <laughs> I mean, but that bad. the bridge explodes around you. <laughs> Everyone on the bridge, make a dexterity save. Hey, how'd you get back on the bridge, Aridin? Well, because they told me to move on the bridge. I was telling them to come back. You go two, four. You could be right here. I want to. If it was my turn, I want to cast the fourth level healing word on me. <laughs> yes, you can do that because uh, Fizzle kind of went out of turn a little. Oh man, fizzle! <laughs> I rolled a natural one. For the <laughs> wait, wait, bridge. that was your save? Oh, that's that a was dexterity for save. the bridge yeah. afterwards. Oh, yep, yeah, I need a dex save too. So you fall in, <sighs> and see this little thing right here? That ripple in the water? Oh no! no. Oh, there's Kidding stuff me? in the water. Ramas. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, let's move you there. Just so you can see them. They swarm you immediately once you fall into the water. And they start chomping and chomping and they're trying to bite through. I'm screaming, grab your ball! Grab your balls now! <laughs> <laughs> How much damage did I take? It was well, you only took 14 and if you absorbed elements... Bye -bye. Well, you already saved, so that would be 7. Did you want to use absorb elements on that 7 damage? Well, my my uh, deck save was a fourteen or a five, so, so I did not save. So I oh. took fourteen. So you took and the then I have. Time. So you take seven. Okay. No, your dexterity no. save was an eight, For and the then I rolled that was an eight, and then he rolled fourteen. Oh, so you and did fail, fail. Three. Yeah, you still failed. That was a five. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little confused, but you failed the deck save of the explosion. Fell in the water. You failed the deck save here. Yep. Oh, seriously bad. And they will bite you. They were just waiting for someone to go in there. And you did them a favor. Oh. These little guys have advantage to hit you when they uh, are in water. They're little bastards. Oh. Wow. Okay, so Aww. between 2 to 20, I didn't even get above a 6. <laughs> they right. are swarming you, though, and they're um, floundering around your body. Your scaly armor is actually um, causing a little bit of problems for their large, sharp fangs. <laughs> Let me write down a note. My note is we are... Uh... All right, that was um, all of these turns. You do get a turn here, Jolly, because... This was all on Vizzle's turn, technically. So are we at... Uh... You guys uh, kind of panic right started now? moving out of turn order. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. So... Jolly never actually did much. Yeah. Um, so can... Aerodan can didn't either. And Aerodan, if you now. wanted to move, you could move. It's a little more hectic having you guys control the tokens, but it's okay. I like the panic. Yeah. I have to hold concentration, so that's what I'm doing. Mm, yeah, you do. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am going to... Uh... <laughs> right here, these three tiles are blown up bridge. Oh, snap. Yeah, because what I want to do is get off... Well, that's not hard. So, Just wait for nine rounds. Hmm. What if I were yeah, to no run? Kidding. We need to leave, bink, dude. Bink, bink, and jump. 
Ooh. You What's could make strength? it to the just the tip. Give me an athletics roll. I love it, but just the tip. <laughs> uh, athletics. Uh, you know, it's if the 15. witch had looked into your futures, she would have seen the same life. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great roll you do you leap across the uh, blown up part of the bridge the rest of the bridge around you was starting to collapse in and on itself anyways because now it's not attached to the second end you land feet first on the edge of the cliff right there nice and if I get any glimpse of that crazy gold dragon man I want to. it's actually just a crossbow bolt launcher that looks like it's alive and animated. Mm. Hmm. But you do get a glimpse of it. it? <laughs> well, that was one, Can two, jumping. Does one, two, jumping two, count three. as part of your move? Yeah, it takes up your movement. So three, four, five. You have one space left. Unless you're only 25 feet around because you're a turtle. Um, I am 30. Oh. They're fast. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Plenty <laughs> fast. That's baloney. Um, Malarkey. Does that, athletics, even. does that athletics count as part of my action? No, that's part of your movement. Okay. Um, it was it was to see how well you stuck the landing. Gotcha. Um, well, then I'm going to uh, create bonfire under. Let's see. What's the range? 60 feet. Okay. Boom. Right on the spot. Pew. Right on the... How big an area is it? Create bonfire is... Pew. Not much. Needs um, to make a dexterity foot... saving throw. Foot cube. Five foot cube. So he'll make a dexterity saving throw. It fails. It tries to close up all its gaps with, like, plated metals and before the fire gets in, but the fire seeps through all the edges and it's now um, starting to burn. Yeah, I just don't want to launch any friggin' crossbow bolts at me. Okay. Now I allow everything to go back. Um, that is a cantrip. Okay. I don't know if that affects anything. No. Oh, okay. Here, I'll just put a little red marker on him. Good call. Fire. Yeah, there's oh, and there's damage components. So, see when you link to that spell, if you click any of those pink links, mm -hmm. you can do the damage that way. Well, Wham. It, says, it says it was already... Um, calculated 2d8 is 2 plus 7, so 9 fire damage. Oh, okay, it did the damage already. Yep. Okay, let me mark that down. Next. Nine fire. Next is me. Yep. Did we skip uh, uh, Aradan? Is he moving? Oh, so he went out of order, so we're back to the top. Oh, so it's me. It's you. Everything got a little hectic when the bridge blew up. Actually, everything got a little hectic when you guys started panicking. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm just thing. curious. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. Um, my own oh, size right here. One, two, five. You're still in your original spot for us. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm moving my guy around, but it doesn't. Well, you got to so move him first. If I'm 15, if I'm on the ceiling, I could run past the fish and not create a provoke, right? Correct. Three, four. If I go right here, can I uh, see both of them? There's no bridge there, but you're on the ceiling. And yep. yes. Can I see both of them? Yes. All right. I'm going to twin a cantrip then. Okay. Use my last meta magic. Because um, it's, is it one? For a cantrip, yep. Oop. No more meta magic for me. Um, and then I'm going to cast uh, Firebolt two times. On each of these creatures? Yep. The first roll that I can't see yet is for the fish. Okay. Roll to hit. So, 
I did. I rolled a 14 for the fish and a 20 for... Alright, so Old 14 machine. for the fish is a hit. The piranhas get hit by the fire. <laughs> Roll your damage. I did. Six. six. Six damage. Fire to the swarm of piranhas. And then I rolled a 20 to hit the bolt thrower. Okay. And, and that is also a hit. And 20 I damage. Rolled two tens. I rolled max damage. Wow. <laughs> And then I'm going to keep moving. So I'm running across the ceiling as I run. I let Salvo go. And then I move one, two more places. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, one. Can I, like, hug the wall over here? And try to stay out of line of sight of the boat thrower? You can try. Okay. That's what I do. Go ahead. Aradan. One, two, three. The bridge is like hanging in the water right here. You could actually just climb on to the remains of the bridge. It's kind of um, dangling from the cliff side now. Still intact, just dangling into the water. You could almost climb it like a very sturdy ladder okay. or a ramp even. Well, then that's what I'll do, and then I'll cast a, I'll cast another first level healing word on myself. On yourself? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. That's second level. Wow. Oh, it is a second wow. level, so mark your I'll spell just, slot. I'll just do that. I'll just do a second level, because I need a 10. Yeah, you do. <laughs> 10 health. And don't forget, you also have healing dice as a celestial sorcerer, I think. Or am I wrong on that? No, that's that a warlock. Is... I'm definitely yeah. wrong on that. Yeah, that's the warlock version. It has now been a full round of banishment. Okay, I have nine rounds till doom. Let me know when the next round goes. I'll scratch it off. Go ahead, aid. Jolly. Jolly, huh? Um... Alright, so I'm going to Is this thing looking pretty solid to this uh Oh yeah I can armor. describe the damage a little better. When he hit it with the fire, it lit it up. It looks like the plates are starting to heat up pretty bright reds. The metals. You see another bolt starting to slowly peek its way out of its mouth cannon. Tink, 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 tink. Um, are there any large, like, not large, smallish rocks that are loose laying around here? Plenty. Nice. Yes, earth and grasp. Nice. I'm going to you. In fact, there's actually some even on the map, but there's plenty around as well. I'm gonna... Cast catapult on them, into, straight into um that guy. So he needs to make a dexterity save of fifteen, or take fourteen bludgeoning damage as I hurl a rock at it magically. Yeah, you definitely hurl a large rock at it. <laughs> and that um, is a is it level just spell. bludgeoning damage though? Yes. You can see the plates deflect it pretty well. Mm, okay. Bummer. So, um, I am going to... Move. Whoa. I'm going to oh. go flying in and drop prone. <laughs> so that it can't hit me very easily. <laughs> going into your turtle shell? No, nope, just... that takes an action. Oh, yeah. that's actually a thing you can do? Yeah, yeah that can. takes an action. However, if I drop prone, <laughs> at least it still gives me advantage. If he has to shoot me. If he has to roll to hit you, yeah. Yep. Um, Even when you're right next to him? Yep. I thought he just has disadvantage right. to attack actually, you. you know I think... If you're right next to him, he has disadvantage unless he rolls away. Yeah, so he has disadvantage anyways. But if he backs up five feet, he could take a shot. But at disadvantage because he's prone. Yep. Yep. Now, now that he's prone, yes. Yeah. 
So he ducks and rolls. I just, I just go in and I hit the I've dirt. never seen this done, especially by a sorcerer. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of this awesome. is, I'm a fucking combat turtle, man. <laughs> I cast uh, turtle. I cast turtle. Yeah, so that's that's what I do. Okay. That was a first level spell, in case you knew that. The catapult. Yep. yep. Oh, I, I haven't been rolling these at all. Here, let's well, roll a d20. Ro- mostly doing my... Wild magic goes off. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's roll a <laughs> d100. Or I'll roll. Slash one, d100. 61. 61. So from the chart, for the next minute, you must shout when you speak. Okay. <laughs> that sounds fair anyways. <laughs> I'm yelling. I don't even have to. I'm like, come on, ah! back in. Everyone turn Brian it. down a little. <laughs> yep. It's about to get shouty in here. About to get shouty. I wonder if I can lower my... Nah, it's fine. Fizzy? I'll just Fizzle? pretend to show. Uh, so I will cast... You're in the water, treading water barely. You're trying to hold your head above it, actually. You do not like being in the water, by the way. Strength of six. And yep. piranhas are swarming you. I'll cast a dragon's breath at third level. It's a bonus action to cast it, and then a action to spew the fire. So I'm going to go 15 foot cone now in this area. Okay. Just missing the bridge. Roll to. Do I roll to save? Uh, that is a deck save on your part. It's like magnesium flare underwater. <laughs> Amazingly, they fail. The piranhas are not dexterous at all, they are just swarming. Nine blue damage. Don't know why it's blue, but nine damage to the piranhas. Max damage and a minimum damage, or the six and a one plus two. And that's what makes it blue? I don't know. It's not (laughs) red, it's not green. I think it's green if you roll max dice, and then red if you roll the one. And so it turned blue. Either way, you blast fire across the swarm, and you blast about half of them off. Uh, and then I will try to move uh, the just bridge to the here? shore if I can. Well, see, that's the problem here. <laughs> this cliffside <laughs> is uh, 10 feet up. Oh, that's 10 feet up? 10 feet up. That's why there's a bridge. Ah, okay. Um, no bridge here or to the left or right of it. And the other so bridge over here is here? kind of dangling in the water, and the first signs that it's not in the water is right next to Aradan. That's where it starts to come out of the water. So that's okay. two That's two of your movement right there. And I can go right there without provoking, correct? Yep. yep. Okay, I'll do that. All right, you're swimming through the water hastily. Um, <laughs> yeah. That was everyone's turn. This guy. Well, let's roll a d6 first. His explosive bolt does not recharge. Thank God. It looks down at you. Its head points down at you. Ching, 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 ching. And it looses a bolt. Foo! With disadvantage. Mm. I don't think that roll did it. So... That's 1d20. Wow. 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 I can roll today. The bolt just breaks against the wall. It like skips off your turtle shell and slams into the wall. And you see another bolt reload immediately. Ching, 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 ching. Same thing. Good God. And another round of combat. (laughs) It amazingly does not hit you. It kind of just sinks its way between the crevices of your turtle shell and just falls out. <laughs> Clatters to the ground. <laughs> it, it'll still do something. 
chink, chink. Oh, can I hit him? Yep. Uh, Has it been taking bonfire damage, by the way? Does it take bonfire damage every round? Uh, well, I mean, I think that this is only maybe the first round of it, but yeah, it's a. Uh, is that the beginning of the turn uh, or the end? A spell, create bonfire. Any creature in the space takes a D8. Creature also makes a saving throw when it moves into the. Ends its turn there. So well, it's not going to end its turn there then. Yeah, so. Yeah, it was only in there for one extra round. To... <sighs> so it's not lit on fire. Um, oh yeah, so I'm gonna swing at it with an, uh... Use your claw, bro. You have claws. Can you snap at it? <laughs> yeah, basically. Let's see, how do I make it there? Does that work? Yeah. You buy uh, kinda. <laughs> Does it work? I yes, I know. the fireplace. <laughs> you almost snap yourself right into the fire. It feels a little hot. And, yeah. As long as the bonfire doesn't grow, you can get around it. You can skirt around it if you want to chase this thing. I wonder, can I dispel my own fire? It's concentration, isn't it? Create bonfire. It's concentration. Okay, I drop it. Okay. The fire disappears. Bink! That was your turn. No, that was uh, its turn. Aladdin. I your name? changed my nine rounds to doom to eight rounds to doom. It's not Aladdin. It's, it's I don't know. Alutheris. Yes. Make it difficult if you, to say. Uh, if you click on the uh, gear icon, you can change your name. I changed mine to Fizzle, and it should show in turn order. Oh. Uh, okay. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Smart. Name. Uh, I don't see your name on turn order. Only show name plate name. There. So I show mine is showing on turn, but I don't see anybody else's. Oh, is uh, the DM the only one who can see that too? You oh yeah, I yours. see it all. <laughs> you guys can't I see, can it. see mine. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to stay where I am and shoot the piranhas with a firebolt. I roll a twenty-six to hit. Yes. Oh. They take 15 damage. I'm like, get out of the water. Get out of the water now. <laughs> Wait, I yell, fly, you fool. 15 damage <laughs> is enough. Okay, Just cool. Just splash the water with fire, and you take out the rest of the piranhas. That was your turn? You going to move? Uh, nope. <laughs> Next. I pull out the orb. <laughs> <laughs> Yours doesn't work that way. <laughs> and I say abracadabra. No, oh, it's Willow, man. It's Willow. Boop. He disappears. He his doesn't okay. do that. It gives him a spell slot His back. His gives him a spell slot back. His doesn't teleport him back. He's the only one that doesn't have a teleport him back. <laughs> he one. disappears. He did. Oh, oh, you guys trade? Oh, you guys traded on the way back. You're so sweet, G. You didn't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm obviously confused because I only expect treachery. So I'm like, what just happened? He yeah. must have stolen somebody else's. I make sure mine's green or whatever it was. Whatever color it was. Well, he did say the thing, abracadabra, so that can only be one. Oh, yeah, that's got to be. He's going to join David. Yep. David Bowie. Peace out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He left. Next. Uh, that is the turtleneck, or is it me? Where was the Inferno Order? Oh, that's a good question. Jolly did not go. So, Jolly. 
Okay. Um, so I'm going to. Your your guildmate just left you. Although you don't know that yeah, yet. I don't know that. I don't know that. You're still uh, full health. You guys are giving yeah. up quick. <laughs> uh, I'm going yeah, to. Yeah, he was like, "Eff it, I'm out." It's also cast, amazing, so. create bonfire again, and I shout the components. <laughs> so I stand up, and I make him. Let's see if I can. Actually, you know what? I'm sick of him running away. So I'm going to instead shout cast uh, Maximilian's Earthen Sphere, a second level. Earthen Grasp. Yeah, Earthen Grasp. So I don't cast Bonfire on him. So he has to make instead, a strength save. Yep, in DC of... Man, I rolled like asshole. Well, he rolled like asshole too, so he did not save. So he takes four damage... Um, yeah, and probably, and it's restrained for the spell's duration. Restrained gives him disadvantage to attack. Again, a giant hand comes crashing, this time out of the wall that he's right next to, and all the fingers start to latch onto the plates and push them in together, kind of compressing it all together. You can move. Um... And I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll come there, and I'm going to wait to see if he tries to get away or something. Okay. Crowd his space. Get up in his grill. That's what you do, Fizzle. Uh, how far away is this oh, ledge here? That was a second me? level spell. If you need to roll for bad news. Fifteen feet. And 10 feet up. Okay, I got enough to do that. Misty set, bam, I'm up there. All right, Fizzle makes it. Thump. Um, do you need to roll my wild magic? I did. Okay. Nothing happened. Uh, good good the to remind thing... me, though, because I will always forget. Yeah, I will just keep saying it every time I cast a spell. The thing is not where I saw it, so I'm going to 5, 10... 15. You see now it. I see it. Right next to Jolly, it's restrained. You'd have an advantage to attack it with stuff. Can I go here? I can go there. You're see in a little bit. bit. I will use my fire breath to breathe all over it. All right. <laughs> if it's a save, does it have disadvantage on restrained? Uh, it's a dex save. Yeah, it does. That's a yes. <laughs> Am I rolling d6s I, today? I think I'm rolling d6s instead of d20s. 2d20. <laughs> <laughs> so it That's takes wild. 8 fire damage. Why is this fire damage blue? Oh, you rolled... Minimum. Oh, two minimums and a maximum again. It is bright hot. In fact, some of the plates look like they're starting to slough, like... um. They're starting to warp and compress inward. That's getting really hot. Lava hot almost. Mm. Don't touch it. And that's my turn. Well, it's restrained. It's just going to... Well, first it'll roll this. It recharges its explosive bolt and launches one right at you guys. Roll a dexterity save. And uh, it will f fail. Wait, no. Yeah. It will save on its own it. dexterity save. As uh, it uh, yeah. blows up everything in this area. Oh, shit. Skido. Oh, sorry. Uh, it takes three more fire damage because I forget about my elemental affinity. <laughs> three more fire damage. Um. Uh. What's 45 to say? 53? 45, 6. Yep. Okay. It almost made the difference between getting that attack or not. Two hit points <laughs> off. It blows itself up in this. You two make a dexterity save. Check something here. 
Good luck, guys. Oh. I don't do that. Jolly, <laughs> Jolly, Jolly says fails. no. <laughs> Make it no. no. Uh, where is it? Extended spell? Or no, not extended. Uh, twin spell? Can I do a twin spell as a reaction? No. I think... Twin spell is only on your turn. Or quick spell is only on your what turn. What were you trying to do? I was trying to twin spell uh, absorb elements. Oh. oh. Very nice of you. Okay, yes. If it's a reaction spell, you may twin spell it. Nice. Okay, I'll I'll do that. Give us both uh, resistance Fire to resistance. damage. Okay, so it'll roll as damage. So you, instead of taking 18 fire damage, you both will take 9 fire damage from the absorb elements, and this thing blows up. Do we have to make a dex save, you said? Yeah, did you make one, Fizzle? G oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. G, you take 4 damage. No, G didn't four? make his. Oh, no, I, you didn't make yours? No one no. made their saves. So everybody takes okay. 9. The nine. Yeah. There you go. Let's see. That... See if that there adjusts. are seven rounds left. Oh, good lord. Okay, so my turn? Your turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have to go. We have to go now. Those things are coming back really soon. I can't hold them away forever. <laughs> I scream at you. We're going! Keep going! <laughs> you don't have to yell! <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> hey, Matt. Still there, buddy? Matthew. Yeah, I'm here. You still want to be here since they're continuing on? Uh, I, I mean, sure. Okay, I'm going to put you back. We had our emotional moment where you disappeared. <laughs> But all, really, all that happened is he went under the water. He didn't actually leave. He just kind of submerged for a second. He finally gets back. We have to run. We have to run now. <laughs> Those things are totally going to come back. I'm screaming because I'm freaked out. <sighs> and because our leader is screaming, so it must be time to scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. <laughs> yeah. it's Barking orders. So who's going in the lead? You are. I see that. You are going in the lead. Well, it's his turn, and he moved there on his turn, if we're staying in turn order. Uh, uh, do you want to give turn order or no? We might want to stay in turn order for seven <laughs> You do not have to stay in turn order. Okay. <gasps> What's that? Let me put on some different music again. <sighs> yeah. It's twelve twelve, just so you guys know, right? I do know. Does anyone need to leave early? Uh, I mean, if I don't leave soon, I have to go have a short conversation with my wife. Gross. <laughs> I don't see do this it. going longer than twelve thirty ish. Okay, well then let's ish. stretch it out. I guess it's better to ask for forgiveness and all that. <laughs> Okay, so you see something over there. Yes. I can't move my guy. I'll give it to you again. I always forget to give you the power. Is that source of magic? I don't know. Of course it is! Watch something comes uh, running out of here and eats my face. I know what's happening next. The horror scene. Let uh -huh. the magic happen. Magic happen. What is this? It's hard to tell. It looks like um, a gash in the ground. <laughs> mm. I'm going to investigate the magic circle because I do that well. Okay. Roll a constitution save. <laughs> no, no, you don't. That's why I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, Natural 20. <laughs> All right. So you will take Scary the damage, save. but you will not oh, age 4d6. No, no. 
Wait. wait. Constitution save. I see a six, and then I see a twenty. Oh roll? wait, did it double? Yeah. Yes. I rolled a one first and one. Twenty. Yeah, first one was a one twelve, a then a six. Oh, that's Why a your deck save was a twelve. Oh yeah, I was looking at the bottom all one, and then you <laughs> Oh, you botched your con save, so you'll take the damage okay. and you'll age four d six. So let's do the damage. Oh, oh God, you age four whole Cobalt damage. Don't live long, dude. <laughs> like you might age to death. And you age that's twelve awesome. years. <gasps> live forever. <laughs> you're super old, bro. Like I don't even know what your life expectancy is. Uh, they can live to a hundred. They just don't. Ra they rarely see it because they die so often. Oh, okay. <laughs> old, though? Yeah, they're goblins. they're an adult by like yeah, by five super or something. Cool. Yeah, dude. So you're like old school. You're like an old G now. OG kobold. <laughs> You've never seen anybody as old as you. So. There you go. That was fun. I'm like, ooh. ooh, ooh. Oh, how much damage it... did I take? You took 3D6? four. A one, a one, a two. Yeah. Like nothing. I'm rolling like a god today. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We're like squishy juice boxes for the easy consumption. Yeah. <laughs> this hurt. magic circle age. <laughs> I don't um, like it. Are you okay, man? You don't look no. good, bro. <laughs> you are right, man. Uh, no. That, that looks bad. Yes. Don't worry. When we get back, I'll use the emerald that I should Blair. Yeah, he I'm said sure something like that. Something. Yeah. He started breaking up, but... <laughs> well, I did. I'm like, when we get back, I'll totally use... Nope, you're still don't breaking worry. up. I am? You keep saying, I'll totally, I'll I get totally back. <laughs> use the money that I got from the Emerald to buy you a cleric. Okay. okay. That's better. All right. Um, We won't make it in time. Nope. There's no way, now that We're I'm thinking about it. it. It was three minutes ago that you said... Yeah. Good. I could reveal the whole map to you if you want, and we could power through this, because we're never going to do this one again. This is fun, though. Is there another yeah. fight coming? Yeah, where is it? There would have been another fight. Well, we're not going to make it. There's no, you're not going to make it. A fight will take a little while. Let's go ahead and reveal the whole map. Al advocates that we go back and use the magic balls. <laughs> we'll advocate that, too. <laughs> I bet you will. I'm confused because I think you don't have one. Oh, shit. It's a pretty large map. There we go. Oh, yeah. And then. What is that thing over there? It's That's the thing you crazy. probably don't want to fight. It's the winged orc man. <laughs> it's like Orcus or something. Well, uh, if you get close to it. Here. Zoom I am in. close to it. It looks weird. Where did it go? Yeah, it looks demon like with an axe. Green axe demon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could just make it larger. Why are you so smart? I'm the genius. Yeah. See? Also terrifying. <laughs> yep. Ow. Oh, bad. That's That was the final fight. He actually handled the air trap very well by banishing him. That's a great spell, by the way. Oh, it's a really great spell. Um, they weren't going to leave that room, so once it stopped, you'd have been fine. Huh. Your whole oh, task nice. was to get across the bridge, which you did. Done. Oh. I mean, at this point, realistically, we should send a band back the map show that we have we found this the thing and all we need to do is send realistically more than three or four people at a time we can banish the that guy and then take oh it looks like we got some portals way up here that's got to be the source of the power that was the source of the power yeah. or it's just a portal up here yep up at the portal, like, yeah. You know, it's, you um, like, 
you walk in a line and then you walk in a line here then you got a stargate here and then so when you leave the line you got another stargate <laughs> And so then we all hang out over here. Yeah, the glass cannon. I got it. <laughs> the hell? I can't clear the drawings. <laughs> they won't let me clear it. I got him. I got him. Yeah, but I should have all power. <laughs> you have no power over me. I keep hitting clear drawings and nothing's happening. What's weird? The top one is there. We go. What's this weird blue guy over here called Decrepit? Uh, oh, that's a slowed. It looks like a token. That was the like age. The oh, the age token. Yeah. I just didn't use it. You aged 46 years. It's pretty good. 46, right? Not 46? Yeah, four six sided dice. Okay, good. No, I was like, no, I thought no, it was only 16. All right, we'll we'll no. end there on a. We didn't quite finish it. No, I probably took too long in the beginning. With all the um, role play parts of it, but I didn't want to do just mad. a dungeon crawl. I thought he's gonna put no pants. Say put no pee pee, which is weird. Who calls it a pee pee? Why can't I clear your guys' drawings? This is bullshit. <laughs> 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 Maybe I'm not on the right layer. Oh, I'm not on the right layer. <laughs> oh, there you go. I guess you have to be on the right layer to do it. All right, let's uh, let's do roses and thorns. Yeah, let's go ahead and do roses and thorns. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, let's see, Rose. I really like casting banishment. That was cool. Uh, that's a fun spell. Like save or suck, sucker. That was kind of neat. Um, thorn. Uh, getting set on fire in the beginning. <laughs> that <was> Sorry. <laughs> Like breathe fire in my face. Sorry, he like, says. My eyebrows are gone. It's horrible. Like after that, I was just like muffed up for the whole game. My character was <laughs> too hurt. Sweet. Go Sweet. ahead, Brian. Um, Rose for me was a really unexpected kind of like a, a you know Al Capone gang leader vibe which i had not planned at all and so he became this weird boss lord and so that was fun to order you guys around and kind of take control of things that way and it's always fun to when you're the authoritarian mean type to do something nice behind the scenes that nobody else sees and so when matt and i were scheming to switch things that was fun um thorn Aside from just general interface complication, if anything, I would actually have to say banishment. Because, really? yeah, that was, uh, it's like, it went from combat to not combat. It went to like, I, I definitely came here to not fight today. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's because you weren't at four hit points. <laughs> yeah, we were going to die. Bro. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I was getting away with not taking any damage <laughs> but uh but I was like Matt, yeah Josh, we're gonna go to now and then oh. I had 28 hit points and then they like they totally gang banged the shit out of me I was like nope yeah it's a pain in the ass to be wild magic sorcerer when you can't ever get you don't have an opportunity to cast a buttload of spells you, you always have an opportunity it. just to really to really see it happen just like oh man I you had one wild brain. surge yeah, I mean, did you even you. cast any fourth level spells? Uh, I mean, right now I'm casting Snylock Snowball <laughs> on a, on our party to see if you I can down a... them. That way, I can <laughs> take their orb to get back. Because <laughs> you'd have to cast problem. higher level spells. Yeah, I'm cast. I'm casting that big one right on us, just so that I I can take an orb and get back. Otherwise, I'm stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. True story. <laughs> go ahead, <laughs> Alex. Go back to the room. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Quinn spell uh, Absorb Element. Uh, although I just damage. actually realized that that probably wouldn't actually work because the casting is range of self. 
But uh, oh yeah. So what I, does twin spell say? Can you do it to something? Target that... is one creature. Okay, so then you probably couldn't have done that, but it's not a big deal. I mean, he had still plenty of health, but uh, I'll say yeah. I think I uh, I enjoyed playing a creature that he focused on one thing that he did, and that was dragon breath. And I just keep doing that over and over again. The problem is, is it's like fireball. It, sometimes people take damage from standing near enemies or sharing an occupied space with them. Yeah. True story. <laughs> and I hope everybody realizes how frail sorcerers are in the, for the large campaigns so that they know how frail I will be. I'm not going to be, you know... Fizzle who has 74 hit points to everyone else's 50, but... No, oh, you're starting I'll to level 2. You'll probably have, like, 12 hit points or something. Yeah. Go ahead, Matt. Um, I guess uh, we'll just say Thorn would be, like, maybe the pacing. Like, I think there was too many encounters for the roleplay portion. And uh, maybe too many encounters for the the battle or the the dungeon crawl just because yeah i would have liked to get to the end boss at least you know try to finish it out i mean if we were going to be doing this as a a whole like and like continuing on next week or you know i think the encounters were awesome it's just kind of felt everything kind of felt a little rushed and uh yeah we just skipped the end you know, yeah, so just kind of, but other than that, it was it was a pretty cool one shot. Uh, I've never played my I guess my rose would be is I've never played a full caster, so it would have been awesome to Not do die. other things than <laughs> yeah, like healing word on myself because I didn't get to do any kind of damages or anything like that. But it's all good. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I would say my thorn. Hmm. It's hard to put good role play encounters. Like, just want to RP in a one shot. Because yeah, you guys possible. don't give a crap about the NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Their dicks, your dicks. No one likes each other. <laughs> you didn't make one persuasion roll this entire I'll be game. Super nice next week. Thanks, uh, I guess. Somehow. I figured That'll you guys suck. have to roll Persuasion at least at one point, right? Because you all have high charisma. Nope, no, no Persuasion rolls anywhere. I mean, if the guy didn't want to give me the map, I would have... Or, you know, if the dwarf didn't want to point out where we're going to go, I would have rolled. I didn't have to, I felt like. Yeah. There was opportunities, though, for the... um first part that I was hoping people would be more involved in, but no one cared. They're like, give me my shit and we're going. <laughs> <laughs> so the first three role play encounters, everyone just powered through. Like, yep, oh, yeah, I don't want to be here any longer. All right. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. We we're trying to get here to the cave. So that's probably my I mean, thorn. We, we could have, we could have sat there and role played, but we could have role played the whole game and those three encounters. Yeah. Yeah. We, we could, we would still be there. Yeah, I like I, I could have to that. I wanted yeah. to start arguing with the wizard who could, um, who was telling the futures because my my god was Sabras, the god of fate. Oh, you should have. So, that would've been good. Well, I could I could have, but I didn't want to prolong the encounter too long. Oh, sure. I'm not even worried. We don't get to the end of the encounter. We don't get to the end of the encounter. I yeah, like I um, as long as you guys are having fun. You wanted to cast big spells. Well, you didn't do that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> cast healing words. Except so for a healing no word. It's <laughs> the only spell you cast. So that's probably my thorn, is the role play takes a back seat in one shots because there's just no meaningful role play. Yeah. You don't care about if your you characters have, even. <laughs> if we could have like just had like one encounter like at with Samuel, like I don't know, put all three encounters into one guy, it would have been a little bit more meaningful. Yeah, I think I can we could have taken our time with that. I would say my rose was revealing Tim Allen. 
That's probably too much. That's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, the way that your name is Al, and I already had Tim and Al planned, and he Al was already dead. <laughs> yeah. I and was the like, fact oh, that you no. got your fortune read, I was like, ooh, this works out perfectly because your name's <laughs> Al, did. and Al's dead. Yeah, I was like, oh, I think she just messed up. Maybe she has the wrong Al. Yeah, I think she did have the wrong Al. I thought that was funny how that kind of just coincidentally worked out. That was pretty good. I'd say other roses. Um, I don't know. I'm getting used to roll 20. I think it's really interesting to use. I would not like to do this forever because it's a lot more involved than just sitting there and talking to you guys. I have to switch between 30 tabs right now. It's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, yeah, that's pretty much me. I had fun. It was an interesting one shot that you didn't make it through. <laughs> so is that everybody? That's everybody. So then I would ask either like what what we're thinking for next time. So next week, I would like Just to run a module. Time. An actual okay. module where you'll have time to role play, you'll have time to do whatever it is you want to do. You're not going to be rushing through the days. What classes do you guys want? I think it depends what module. So, we haven't decided on a module. I could give you a list, but you probably... I don't know, Matt, you probably don't know too many modules anyways. Yeah, I have no clue about any of them. So your vote doesn't count. <laughs> not that we don't care. <laughs> But do you have an idea of like what kind of module you'd like to do? Would you like to do a survival dark themed or a grungy, um, gritty feeling one? Or would you like something that's more on the uppity up? Let's do an uppity up one. Okay. So so then, give a, that'll narrow down the choices a little. Uh, out of the abyss is out of the question. Rage Demons, same thing. Storm King's Thunder can probably be a little more up the up. It's like a journey to kill giants kind of thing. Okay. Maybe Waterdeep Dragon Heist. I haven't read through it, but it sounds like... And it's probably too much like the next campaign I want to run. Yeah, and I would avoid the direct cities. So I'd say Storm King Thunder... Or the Dungeon Crawl, the Mad Mage. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. There's also Ghosts of Salt Marsh, if you want to do more water combat. Mm. <laughs> I've never made a dwarf cleric, so I was not making a dwarf. Finally, come to my side. <laughs> Dwarves are awesome. I don't think I've ever had a dwarf in character. Okay. So let's go ahead and say let's do Storm King's Thunder as a nice. module. Okay. Ray Ray said Whoa. Salt Marsh. Um, well, Ray Ray, they hate water combat. They've they've made that <laughs> clear to me. <laughs> yep. No water, thank you. Unless we get an item that gives us swim speed. There's gloves of swimming and climbing. Character levels 1 through 11. Smokes. 1 through 11, sweet. That's awesome. You know what's great about that is if we do go to live play and we just continue on to finish the module, we have a million mini giants. I mean, like it makes giant sense. Giant minis. Yeah. Mini giants. Mini giants, giants giant minis. Same thing. Um, okay. So for the rest of us, we could play in here Monday morning. Rocking huh? a level one character. Okay, let's see. It says level one to eleven. You said. That's what it says in the description. Level one's good. I might not start you at right? level one. It says you can start at fifth level by skipping over chapter one and starting in one of the three locations described in chapter two. Okay. Okay. Let's fifth do that. Level. Would you guys want to do that? Start at fifth level. I prefer starting at level three through five. I don't so, see yeah. that option. Yeah. You know, yeah, starting at five. five is complicated. Even these past couple of days of eight, 
Like, I don't take advantage of most of what I can do. Usually, I, I take a shit on starting at level one, but I wouldn't mind with this. Like, we have a whole bunch of giants that we can use that we switch. We could play this one from one to eleven. It wouldn't take forever. forever. Yeah, and it's kind of um. It looks like because I don't keep track of experience, it just says what level you need to be when you start each chapter. Right. So I can read through the book, and we can. It's up to you guys. So take a vote. Start at level one or level five. I vote one for this one. Roll for it. Of course you're going. I want to say five, but. One, two, whatever you want, Alex. You're, you just you just typed roll one d five. There you go. All right, one, so four. Uh, so that's closer to five. <laughs> okay, let's do five then. Okay. That's okay. I'm not super against it. Don't make a party that's all the same. So I'm gonna make a dwarven cleric, not of the forge. Mm. Okay. Anyone else have some pocket picks that they've been looking at? Matt or Alex? No, I'm going to have to think about it. So, Josh, are you thinking Dwarven Cleric Tank? Um, Or not I sure mean, yet? I don't know yet. Okay. There's like I'm, three well, Cleric classes that get heavy armor. Maybe four. Which, which three? Uh, War. Tempest. Healing, it's tanky, it's not damagey. And forge, I'll get heavy armor. Like plate. Not right away, of course. Uh, I think I'd like to try Ranger. You want to try Base Ranger or. Base Ranger's got a lot of problems. <laughs> it's not that they can't do things, it's that most of the things they can do just negate an aspect of the game. It's like, and now we can't get lost. Yay. Well, you guys take a think about it while you're doing that. Yeah, I'll, I'll read through the archetypes and stuff like that, but I think I'm going to go with Ranger. Okay. No, it's not that we don't like Out of the Abyss Ray Ray Gamer, man. It's just that they don't want to play a nitty-gritty survivalist kind of game. And Out of the Abyss is definitely like uh, being pursued in the Underdark nitty-gritty. So, More Tempest Life. Kind of, uh, they've done that a lot. <laughs> We're going to try to do something different. Let's go ahead and look at some of the shout-outs, some of the new followers we have. Pull up another tab, even. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming over and joining us. Yeah, my Twitch is broken. Now, let's just look back here. Are we going to get a free first level non combat feat? No. Ah, oh, man. What if we start at level one? No. Okay. Then, yeah, level five. <laughs> I might do like a uh, the Sun Soul Monk. Oh, or, those are cool. Or the long, maybe the Long Death Monk. The Long Death if, Monk is sweet. If we need, depends on if we need something tankier from Matt and Alex and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go yeah. over some of our follows. We got Nice Note. Thank you for your follow. And then I'll say a bunch of other names. We got the Fairy Queen, Mr. Mick Crazy, Bun Muffins. Thank you all for your follows. We've got Shriner Dave, Illbeard, subscribing again. Tier one subscription for the twenty-second month in a row. Thank you, Illbeard. Oh, that is almost uh, two That's years. That's the same as me. So we're never playing these guys again, right? I you can delete that guy. Delete. Josh. You just rename him, keep him in the the thing so that you don't even have to try to transfer him over. That makes sense. Wipe him. Mind wipe. 
You're not who you thought you were. <sighs> Alright, well, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna okay. bug out here. I'll give a few more shout-outs and we can all start bugging out. Thank you, uh, Cthulhu Gus, Octavius. Thank you for redeeming the bacon for making an establishment as well. I'll send you a link after the game. Thank you, Diamonds and Dice, for the host. And is that it? PT... P Assault, thank you as well. We'll see you guys all here next week at 7.30 a.m. or whenever you wake up. <laughs> Fair enough. Cool. Take it easy there, Central everyone. time. Central time. Central time.